Who wants to serve? Let me make a seat. Can you better reset here? All right, we're live. We're live. Yeah, so um, this is uh, First Kings 18 and 44. I started off properly. Somebody oh. started off. Oh. Give all praises to Yahweh. Bashem Yahushah. Bashem Machabar Kadah. Double honor the Apostle Greg Nostal, who blew on Tito, who taught us this truth. And salutations to Yahweh. All right. Um, today, as you don't know, is the Second Pride Parade that's going about downtown and throughout all the world. And so, it's going to be over. Yahweh's 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 going to be over.
pass that chip law, the RFID chip law, okay? And right as uh, the, the masses and the, the rest of them, even in Israel, are asleep, this is happening as we speak, okay? Uh, we're not sure yet which uh, city that this is going to pop up into, okay? And uh, we know that the United States is, is pushing hard, and that's uh, Yahweh Hashem uh mission is to push that. Even like um, mm -hmm. with the Mexicans, like the children being um, basically right. separated from their families, who knows if they're being microchipped and so on, you know, possible. Yeah, that's a beautiful exercise yeah. right there. Hey, what was the foil? The, I see them covered in foil. What was that all about? I mean, I didn't get, get a chance to look at well, it. That's a blanket. Blanket. Foil blanket, blanket right? Yeah. <laughs> but um, um, Trump also signed a deal yesterday, an executive order, about keeping the families together. Mm -hmm. right? So he's flipping a script to gain people love and trust for him. But he's saying, hey, are they not? Are they not? Are they not? His wife, <laughs> he said, um, you know, basically, she, he couldn't sleep because he's not about to play on families. So when, we know there's some deception in that because you know we don't give two rats ass about our people, right? So when he's when he's saying, "Oh, I, I signed," and he's showing her, "I signed the, the, the order, you know, keep families together," you know, we're not deceived, man. We know this man is wicked, so that, 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 that that's that's nothing from a contrite heart. So some deception to that. Even a microchip, because we, a way of them trapping people is, um, if you want to be an American citizen, citizen of the UK or wherever in the world. Uh, and you're an immigrant, you have to accept a microchip, which you're able to uh, have your health records, your passport, your driver's license, every piece of identification will be on that chip. And that's what they're going to try and do, you know, make it seem like it's uh, something savvy when it's not. You know? Excellent. That's yeah. exactly what the next uh, line of uh, uh, um, verse 4 says. Okay, read on, brother. It says, and that they should kill one another, and there was given unto him a great sword. And when he had opened the third seal, I heard the third beast say, Come and see. And I beheld, and lo, a black horse. And he that sat on him had a pair of balances in his hand. And I heard a voice in the midst of the four beasts say, A measure of wheat for a penny, a three measures of barley for a penny. And see thou hurt not the oil and the wine. So that's going into, into our slavery. If the black horse was into our, our slavery, that would be sold, right? That's what we get the, 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 the measure of the wheat and the bride for. It says, and when he had opened the fourth seal, I heard the voice of the fourth beast say, come and see. And I looked and behold a pale horse and his name that sat on him was death. And hell followed with him, and power was given unto them over the fourth part of the earth to kill with the sword, and with hunger, and with death, and with the beast of the earth. Hey, that, that someone commented, right? I see you. <laughs> I know what's in there, but um, the guy commented, uh, he's he's Mexican, right? But 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 pure Spaniard, and and he said he's sorry for his ancestors conquering the natives, right? But then. <laughs> <laughs> uh, then the brother put up us about our power, right, the Most High, and he said the mm -hmm. Most High was with us Spaniards, and the Moors conquered Spain and took our white woman as wives, right? But he's saying the Most High was with us. We're reading that the Most High, he was with you guys, right? Yeah, 100%. You know? The Most, Most High with his comment yeah. behind the board, you know? Could be, uh, you know, someone high up who scoffed it, you know? No, no, that's okay. Yeah. We welcome all. Yeah. 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 We welcome all. Yeah. You know? But he's saying the Most High, well, yeah, the Most High has to be with you. For you to be in power, the Most High has to be with you. That's right. But now the Most High is coming back to the Israelites, man. That's the right. Most High is coming back to the Israelites, and he's, he's giving them their dominion back. You know? Um, and Jesus was a so-called black man, or, or as, you, as you put, Negro. Oh. Were smoother than butter, for was in his heart. Eric right, was coming to seek our, you know, our, basically pleading to us, talking about he's sorry for his ancestors and stuff like that. But he doesn't need really that. His words were softer than oil, yet were they drawn swords. 
Yeah, that's right, because these people are not coming in the spirit of letting us know who we are. But even though not their job, it's not their job to tell us who we are, but at the same time, it's not like they're coming to heal us, all right? They're coming to, to destroy us even furthermore by putting us into more mental slavery, right? He's talking about um, uh, 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 them enslaving us. Buddy, you guys have only had us in slavery for, for a short period of time, right? We've actually had you people in slavery longer than you've had us in slavery. That's right. Right? It's only because you, we, we keep pushing that, that slave mentality. No, we actually rule for a long period of time, man. Yeah. We just got taken down because we were wicked and we accept that, man. Are you going to accept that you're going to be taken down? So we're here telling you we accept that we were taken down because we were wicked. Well, guess what, buddy? You're going into slavery as well. Right. Right? That's right. Right? And after you go into slavery, we're never going to go down again. Because our power is going to write the law, statutes, and commandments in us. Right. So that means we will never go off again. Right. right? Are you able to accept that? Since we're here accepting, yes. You, you, you did have us in slavery. Right? You did. 100% physical slavery. We whooped our backs. We had to pick cotton. We had to do all that shit. You raped our women right in front of us. That happened. That is true. Right? But... We are not the true slaves. Right. You are true slaves. And the only reason that happened is because we went up. That's right. That's that right. In Ezekiel 39. All, all the heathen shall know that the Israel went in captivity for their iniquity. Man. That's right. Somebody get that. Uh, yeah, you can go um, So this is Daniel 4 and 17. This is the matter by the decree of the watchers and the demand by the word of the holy ones. To the intent that the living may know that the most high root is in the kingdom of men. That's a beautiful scripture. Right. And that's what everybody in this world better know. Right? Any true ruler, doesn't matter if you go back into the Babylonians or Persians, whoever. They better know that the power that rules in this world is the heavenly father. Right? Right. Just like the Persians knew. The Persians knew. Right? They were heathens, but they, they knew. Right? They had to give the power onto the most side. Right? They knew that, okay, there's a power in this world. Now. Right? It's you so-called you so -called white people who are the biblical Edomites. You're trying to turn your back on that power. Why? Because like the scripture says that you put yourself up as your God. Right? But there is a God in this world. Right? And he's the one that put you in the power. And give it to, and give it to whomsoever he will. He will. And, and set it up over in the basis of men. To read that part again. God. And set it up over it. And give it to whomever he will. And set it up over it, the basis of men. So should, so should we be shocked that we have pedophilia? Should we be shocked that there is bestiality? No. Because the Mosai said he's going to set up the basis of men to rule the world. Mm -hmm. So what happens when you set up a, 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 a base man to rule the world? You give him all the riches, you give him all the power in the world. What the fuck you think is going to happen? Yeah. To yeah. His, <laughs> sick, his sick, perverted mind is going to be amplified. Yeah. Right? Uh, I have a precept. Um, Sarah 41 and 5. The children of sinners are abominable children, and they that are conversant in the dwelling of the ungodly. And, and, and their actions have been proven, right? It's not something that we're bashing. There's no more bashing. That's why there's no need to, to really go up against the white man like, oh, you faggot, you homo. We don't have to call you white people that way. All we got to do is bring out your damn history. We'll take our time with you dirty ass white people. All we'll do, we'll just bring out your history, right? Because before before we showed you uh, 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 um, our law statutes and you people were eating out of your dead grandmother's skulls, man. You were taking one shower for a year. You understand? Like uh, like Ari used to say, you had so much hair on you, you look like a bear, man. Like a bear coat, man. That's how much hair was on you, man. This, you guy, this guy's getting mad now. He's saying, <laughs> he's, 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 now he's saying, he's saying, he's, he, said, he said, dude, Negroids aren't Israelites. God was a white Caucasian. Af Beautiful. Africans had no written language. We're not African. That's <laughs> right. <laughs> That's right. And, and the joke is, his forefathers didn't only deceive us, his forefathers it's also deceived him as well. Yeah, right. That's right. right? It was two, it was a double-edged sword. That's right. That's what they don't understand. El Diablo. 
The children of sinners are abominable children, and they that are commerce in the dwelling of the ungodly. Yeah, that's right, man. Right? Hey, and the, 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 thing, the thing with the ungodly is that they expose themselves. It's easy for the ungodly person to expose themselves, man. Because you have to remember, when Esau established this kingdom, he established it with what? With the Bible. All right. But what happened? What what happened, Jacob? <laughs> what, what happened, John? Everybody's name was Jacob and John back then. And Luke. And Luke. Yeah. Matthew. Matthew. Yeah. What, what happened, guys? Yeah. Yeah. What happened, Brandon? Yeah. What happened, Matt? Come on. You know, like, what happened? Yeah. They, how come they went away from that? Right. When they established those laws. They ex you you yeah. so-called yeah. white people had in your society a law against homosexuality. Yeah. It was the law against <laughs> a, 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 a boogery, man. There was a law against boogery. What happened to the law against boogery? What happened to the law against uh, 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 um, uh, against bestiality? You had that up. How come you went away from that? Because you're showing your true colors. Right? That's right. That's right. I got a scripture. Well, it's not, the right. children will complain of an ungodly father. And that's what this guy's trying to do. But his programming, oh, he, he, he's going haywire right now. Because first he wanted to apologize, yep, yep, yep. but now he, he, he wants to come in that in that way where it's just like, well, you know what? Forget it. You guys are just a bunch of Negroes. Yep, yeah. God was right. white. That's right. Yeah. That that pro that you know that programming bugs them on, right? That's right. You know why? Because we're not like the rest of the, 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 the so-called black men, because we're not black men, right? right. We're not looking for for uh, uh, um, for acceptance from the white man. That's right. We're not, for val thank yeah. you. Validation. Say that word again, brother. We're not looking for validation. We're not looking right. for validation, man. That's right. We don't want validation from you, right? Which is what our people want. Our people want validation from Esau. Mm -hmm. We want validation from y'all, Bashir and Shai, man, for, right. for our actions, man, That's for right. what we do. I'm not even looking for validations from you brothers, man. Right. You brethren can't save me, man. Right. right? Our calling is a higher spiritual right. calling, man. Right. It's beyond men. That's right. And that's what these people don't understand. That's why he's bugging out. Because he can't believe that uh, so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans are talking down to him. Yeah. Because what does this program tell him? His programming told him that he's above us. Right. Mm -hmm. right. Go ahead, go ahead. This is uh, Jeremiah 16 and 19. Oh Lord, my strength, oh my fortress, and my refuge in the day of affliction. Which is what we went away from. We huh? went. What did we go away from? We went away from the name. We went away from our nationality. We went away from our laws. What makes us better than these people? Our laws, huh? statutes, and commandments, right. and our power. Yahweh and Yahweh Shai. Mm -hmm. So right. since we put that behind us, the Most High put put us behind Him and put our enemies above us. That's the only reason you can even talk to us. Kind of. You cannot talk to an Israelite when they're in the right state of mind. That's David right. always spoke about that. Right. That David always said that. When who can be uh, uh, against me when the Lord is for me? Yeah, who right. can? There is no. Uh, what, did it, what did it say? I think it's in Jeremiah where it says, "No weapons form against me <laughs> shall right. prosper." Man, right. why? Yeah. Why no weapons form against me shall prosper? Because it's not me. It's Yahweh Shai. That's right. Right. Who taught David how to, to war? Yeah, was the Abbas and El Shai? It wasn't man. That's right. So yeah. no man could go up against a, a, a man of the Lord. Any yeah. man who Abbas and El Shai is working with, you cannot touch that man. Yeah, right. Right. This, uh, Romans eight and thirty one. What shall we say then? It's like what shall we then say to these things? If the Most High be for us, who can be against us? And that's what's bugging these people out. That's right. Because they gave us this information. And they're wondering how do we get the information? We got the information from Yahweh mm -hmm. Shai, mm -hmm. right. and we're going to continue to push that until until you put put us to death or until we're delivered, man. Right. So 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 do what you got to do, man. Right. Do what you got to do. Verse thirty-two: He that spared not his own son, but delivered him up for us all, <clears throat> how shall he not with him also freely give us all things? Mm -hmm. Who shall lay anything to the charge of the Most High's elect? It is the most high that justifies them. Sure. Well, um, so it says here, um, the Gentiles shall come unto thee from the end of the earth and hey, shall say, jump in? Surely our fathers have inherited lives. 
Read that again. Beautiful right. scripture, huh? It says here, Jeremiah 16 and 19. Oh, yeah. Lord, my strength and my fortress, my, and my refuge in the day of affliction. Who's saying that? Jeremiah. That's Jeremiah saying that. So Jeremiah, Jeremiah knew who, uh, uh, who his power was, where he was getting his strength from, man. God. Keep reading. The Gentiles shall come unto thee from the end of the earth and shall say, Surely our fathers have inherited life. And that's what these people are going to find out, man. You're, we're, uh, Jake is going to find out that they inherited lies, but the heathens are going to also find out that they inherited lies. We're all being lied to. It's not only us, it's also the heathen as well. So a lot of times you can't even go back and forth with the heathens because the heathens are lost. They're completely bugged out. They, the heathens really look at us like we're niggas, like we're just spicks. Like we're just uh, 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 Uncle Tomahawks. They really look at us like that. Right? They look at us like we're the lowest pieces of shit on planet Earth. That's why these guys are going so hard on the comment board, man. Right. They don't understand that you're actually really talking to, to, to former kings. You're really right. talking to, to, to prophets. Right. You're really talking to, 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 to people who are high, man. Right. You're talking to men who rule the world, man. Right. right? You're talking to men who establish laws. A, a, a man who ran courts, men who ran provinces, men who ran countries. That's who you're really talking to. We just lost our place, man. That's all. We just lost our place. You're talking to men who, who had uh, uh, um, rulership over armies. You're talking to generals. There's men here who were generals, man. Right? People look at you like they just see a nigga. And that's where they're messed up as well in their mind, man. That are stripped back here too. Vanity and things wherein there is no profit. This is our first John 3 and 1. Behold, what manner of love the Father hath bestowed upon us that we should be called the sons of Yahweh. Therefore, the world knoweth us not because it knew him not. Yeah, so basically, what the brother was going into, right? Because you're not being told the true information of who we are, where we come from, who our real power is. You look at us as scum. You look at us as like the guys said in the comic board, oh, Afri uh, Africans had no dialogue or no language. You know what I'm saying? We're not African. That's misinformation. That's so right. you don't know that you're you're actually speaking up against the sons of the living power. And there is punishment for that. Because when Yahweh Shai shows up and the elect are changed, you're going to know that you screwed up. You're going to know that you were talking up against kings and princes and rulers and judges and all of that. Man, and you're going to remember that you're just a servant. And servants are, are supposed to bow their heads down to the king. Tell them, brother. You know? Tell them. That's, that's what it is. And, and, and backing up to your point, where I went back before, um, you're a servant. The reason why you can't lay your information on is because we understand the order. We're the leaders and you're the followers. Tell them, right? We tell you what how, how it goes through the power and spirit of the Abbas you're not, you're not here to tell us how information goes Ooh. and how things are going to play out. That's not your job. Ooh, that's right. right. That's and, uh, and, and to back you up a little bit as well, Going back to his African comment, actually the Africans are above him, man. Yeah. Because right. Esau got his wickedness from the Africans. That's true. Right? And them Africans are deep, man. Right. When you go into science, when you go into mathematics, them Africans did a play, man. Yeah. Yeah. The, when you go into the Phoenicians, we we employed Africans. Uh, 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 through Solomon. There you go. And Hiram Abiff is nobody to play with, man. That's nobody to play with. He was an intelligent man. Because he ran a navy. To run a navy, what do you have to know? You have to know the course of, of, of the uh, of the wind. So it's like mathematics. I forget what it is. Not called um, like directions. Like directions. Yeah, yeah. And that's no joke, man. I, I can't remember the exact name, but that's no joke. So that guy was no. He was a serious man. He was highly intelligent, man. And his men were were highly trained as well, right? So you can't. He, he's saying, though, the Africans didn't have this, the Africans didn't have that. And I'm not trying to big up an African, but them Africans didn't play. 100%. Right? You have to know the strength of your enemies. And now you're old. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> That's 1% of Africans. And if I can say this, right? Just, just, so, uh, just to prove that they are above Edom, you know, what is America called in scripture? Babylon. That's right. That's right. <laughs> so who's taken after who? 
It's not called Roman, <laughs> the Roman, the new Roman Empire. And know? when you go to when you go to America, they have a place called New Canaan. God, <laughs> where you get that from? Yeah. yeah. And then he's like, "Come on, Negroids didn't build the pyramids and the, <laughs> temple, and, and the temples in Israel. Yes, they funny. built nothing like that in Africa." <laughs> 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 stuck in that African thing, man. Exactly. Okay, oh, tell man. him if he's still stuck there. How come they have uh, pyramids in, in South America? Yes, sir. Yeah, who built those? Yeah. Who built those? Alaska. Yeah. Yeah. Even Africa. I, I got a quick precept really to just uh just to cover that point that was made about uh this is um Genesis 32 and 28. Um the point is made here when you read the whole chapter. Uh maybe the guy on the comic board can read the chapter. I'm not gonna read it for him, I'm just gonna get to the point. It says, and he said, Thy name shall be called no more Jacob, but Israel, for as a prince as thou power. With God, I'll read prevail, and then I'll break down. And with men, and has prevailed. So, this prince here is Yashahala, right? And he was he was blessed with that. Sure. Okay, and that's that's the family where we come from. Sorry. Okay, Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. Sure. All right. So yeah, he had power with the Most High. So this is what we're saying to you, whether you believe it or not. And we don't care if you believe it or not. Sure. Right, because by faith, what is the, is the scripture Go ahead. Roll that. Yeah. 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 Somebody get that, man. Just get it real quick. Yeah, yeah. 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 I got it. I have it right here. Yeah. This is <laughs> gotta bring it up. <laughs> yeah, this is uh, Romans three and three, and it says, "For what if some did not believe? Shall their unbelief <laughs> make the faith of the Most High without effect? The Most High forbid. Right. Yea, let the Most High be true." But every yeah. man a liar. And, and right. the, reason, the reason why we can say that now today is because everything that we have read, prophecy wise, is actually coming to pass. That's right. right. So for you to go against the Most High at this juncture in life, when we're at the end, yeah, right. and most of the prophecies have played out, That's right. you're, you're better you're against the wrong power, man. You're pretty off of being dead, bro. Yeah. <laughs> it it makes says, sense. As it is written, that thou mightest be justified in thy sayings mm -hmm. and mightest overcome when thou art judged. That's it. And I got it. Hey, what does the word what does the word cult mean? If you can tell me, I'll answer your question. That's right. <laughs> That's right. Go ahead, then. Well, well um, the, the clip on the song, um Land of Confusion. You heard that one. It's an old song, man. Uh, uh, and you say it's talking about um, living in a land of confusion, but it's about America because when Reagan was in power, yeah, it was, it was a Muppet thing, and it was, it was a Reagan wake up and present the new button. No, I think you should do a lesson on that. Man. You should do a lesson. I watch that. That's a good song. Man. You got a script? Uh, this is Psalms um, 44, verse. Four, thou art my king, O power, command deliverance for Jacob. Through thee will we push down our enemies. Through thy name will we tread them under thy rise up against Can I us. Say this quickly. What name is the Edomites coming in when they push down all these other armies? It's not Yahweh by Shai. They're coming in the name of Satan. That's right. So clearly, it can't be you people that are the chosen people of the Lord. You guys don't come in the name of the Most High at all. You guys don't even know the name. You guys say God Almighty, which is a title, not a name. You know? For, for I will not trust in thy bow, neither shall my sword save me. Yeah, but and, and, and let me say this real quick, too, because this is another confusion. A lot of people think that Esau is coming in the name of Satan, like the spiritual demon. The spiritual demon Satan is not working with you, even yes, right. The spiritual demon Satan is working with you. How about you? Know, That's right. right. The, 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 the demons right. that Esau them are working with, they're working with all these pagan deities, man. But them pagan the deities devil? work for who? The work for the Most High. Anyway, right? 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 When, when, when Obama dressed up, in, in his horn, that's their, that's their, that's their Satan. That's right. That's their God. Who that's worship. right. That's right. Right. Yep. When you see Baphomet, see, that's who they worship. Yep. The spiritual demon Satan is not androgynous. That's Are right. you crazy? That's, right. that's disrespecting the spiritual demon yeah, Satan. That's, right. that's disrespecting him because a man's in order. That's right. That man's in order. That's the son of God. That's right. You can't right. disrespect a son of God like that. Right. Saying that he's a, he's a hermaphrodite or whatever. That's disrespectful. Right. 
right? So that's a, that's a, that's the miseducated world. That's a that's a, a, a image that they've made up in their fucking vain mind. Right. That's so different than than most has a naked naked man on a shirt than naked babies. Naked babies. Yeah. 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 That's in your vain yeah. mind. That's, that's in your disgusted mind. Right. Crazy. Yo, this is spiritual demon Satan can't wait to get you white people. Right? <laughs> yeah, <that's good. laughs> Seven says, but thou has saved us from our enemies and has put them to shame. That he us in Yahweh, we boast all the day long and praise thy name forever. But thou has cast off and put us to shame and goest not forth with our armies, thou maketh us to turn back from the enemy, and they which hate us spoil for themselves. And that's why that's why our enemies are allowed to be our common boards. That's why our enemies are allowed to. To, to, to see them. us in the ghetto, mm -hmm. yeah. you know, have the China yeah. 9 store there, we have to go and buy food from them or whatever. Yeah. That's why we're in the position that we're in, right? Right? Because we went against our power, right? That's right. Verse 11, Thou has given us like sheep appointed for meat and has scat scattered us among the heathen. And, 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 and guess, somebody can get that scripture as well. The scripture says, uh, uh, my people are destroyed for a lack, lack of knowledge, knowledge right? Yeah, and that's what's sense. wrong with our people. Right? People lack knowledge. That's why you can have a two-bit Edomite who can come on a comic board and, and, and try to cast dissension amongst brethren, right? A two-bit Edomite who probably never went to school before, who probably who hasn't read a book in his life, who probably only sits down and plays uh, um, video, uh, video games yeah. all day, oh, and then as soon as they see you as a so-called black man, Latino, or Native speaking American, up it, speaking up for yourself, they're going to tell you that you don't know that. That's right. And he never read a damn book in his life. Yeah, hey, but th 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 this is what Edomites do, though, man. Con. Man came up first. What did he say? He said, "I'm sorry." Yes, sir. You know. Mm -hmm. And then when we when we cut him up, man, he got he got emotional. And then he wrote, dude, white Europeans are the true Israelites. He said, this world is ours. We are the builders of nations, nigga. <laughs> <laughs> you see, you see because, but, but you see how they say dumb shit? Okay. Because then we'd have to go into a history lesson right. about the true Europeans. That's right. What's a white European? <laughs> no, you were segregated to the Caucasus Mountains, that's my right. friend. That's right. You see, that's why we don't. That's why you don't have to get mad anymore. Right. Once you know the history, you don't have to get mad anymore, man. You know, because you know. That's right. Verse four. Oh, white Europeans. What, what's that? What, what, what is that? Not even the real <laughs> Europeans. <laughs> <laughs> you mean Caucasian? Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. The Caucasus Mountains. Yeah. Some white European. What's that? It says, verse verse 12, it says, Thou sellest thy people for naught, and does not increase thy wealth by their price. Thou maketh us as a reproach to our neighbors, a scorn and a derision to them that are round about us. The Most High made it like that, man. The right. Most High made, yeah. made us bugged out and, 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 and give you the ability to scoff and laugh at us. That's right. That's right. You know? But when we truly go into history, when we bring it up, man, you, there's no debating. It says, verse 14, thou makest us a byword, like you just called us nigger on the board. That's right. Among the heathen. That's right. And you're a heathen, buddy. <laughs> That's right. A shaking of the head. A shaking of the head. So you're home shaking your head. Say, look at these niggas. These fucking niggas out just reading the Bible. You know, they're talking shit. A shaking of the head among the people. My confusion is continually before me, and the shame of my face has covered me. Um, yeah, let me let me continue up here. I jump to uh, verse twenty-two. It says, "Yea, for thy sake are we killed all the day long? Are we are counted as sheep for the slaughter? Awake, thy sleepest thou, O Lord. Arise, cast us not off forever." Therefore, hidest thou thy face and forgettest our affliction and our, our oppression. For our soul is bowed down into the dust. Our belly cleaveth unto the earth. Arise for our help and redeem us for mercy's sake. And, then, and if you ask the question, who does that apply to? It's not you, Edomite. You guys live in lavish. No one's oppressing yeah, you. You guys are you do what you right want. Now. Someone yeah, come yeah. against you. All you do is you shoot an army over there, drop some missiles. You know, bring some ground troops, and you take over their whole country. You take over their resources. 
who who really has no one to defend them? It's us. Who's who who feels like there's no hope whenever to go to work or whenever they have to pay bills and they don't think they're gonna make it to tomorrow? It's it's our people's friend. You guys don't have to worry about not having enough food or not able to pay a bill on time or not able to go on vacation. Jay don't see vacations like that, man. If they go anywhere, it's usually to follow a family member that died or something. They don't have the luxury to just do whatever they want, man. By the way, about Jake right there. Um, this is uh, Psalms 43. And one, I say, judge me, O, o, o Yahweh, and plead my cause against an ungodly nation. O deliver me from the deceitful and unjust man. You see what it says? Deliver yeah. me from the deceitful. Right. So yeah. what is our enemies giving us? They're giving deceits. us lies. Right. Yeah. Deceits, man. Right? We're getting right. deceits all day. Yeah, right. Why is it saying that? Because in right. Revelation, right. it says yeah, when he'll be loose for a little season, what is he going to do when he was loose? So He's going to go on the world. Deceive, right? Right. 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 For, for thou art the power of my strength, the, why dost thou cast me off? Why go a mourning because of the oppression of the Still enemy? O oh, send out thy light and thy truth and let them see, lead me. See, send out thy light and thy truth. That's, right. That's what we should be seeking after, man. Right. Because what is the light and the truth? It's going to be the stability of our times. That's man. right. And that's why so much men fall out of the truth. You know why? Because they didn't have the light, man. Right. Mm -hmm. They didn't they have the light. Loaded. They that light, light got loaded. put out, man. Right. You weren't secure in this. You weren't it's sure about true. something. There was something that you weren't sure about. Right. You didn't feel secure in this knowledge, man. Mm -hmm. And you weren't growing in this knowledge. You were just bugged out in your mind, man. No, nah, this truth is supposed to actually be your comfort, man. Right. This is the comforter. Right. So if this truth is not comforting you, then something is wrong, man. Right. This is your comforter. So I don't know what else to tell you if this shit, if this truth doesn't make you feel uh, uh, safe. Mm -hmm. In this bugged out world where it's all lies and confusion, if this truth doesn't make you feel safe, then that means this truth is really not for you. Man. Because the comforter is not being, it's not being applied to you. Right? Because yeah. real men who discomforts, this truth is where they run to and you're safe. Mm. Right? This is your it's your hiding place, so to speak. Right? Well, it's, it's your shield, it's your buckler. If it's our comforter, it's their discomfort. Yeah. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. It's not gonna make that's them right. feel good. It's not gonna go easy with it's you, man. It's not gonna go well. So that's why it's not important for talking crap. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Because he's saying that, that um they've built empires on all this stuff, but we're we're still in dark ages, mm -hmm. according to, to what he's talking about, because like, if left it up to them, there'd be no people left, because they're all faggots. <laughs> yeah. 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 They'd be real nothing. That's, That's right. right. Well, the only great empire you guys had was the, <laughs> the, the pagan Roman Empire. Yeah. 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 That was based on homosexuality. Yeah. yeah, and then you had us as the state who was building all those there. policies. That's right. Yeah. We built that Fighting shit. Fighting your gladiator Gladiators, games, yeah. entertaining so it's just right. like how it is today. Yeah, yeah we're, we're still doing it right like, now. We're called Israelites. So we were right. inventing stuff back that's then. Why, that's why like we have basketball it. players right now today, boxers, all yeah, these people. They're all entertaining. Inventions. That's what they would have done back then. Yeah. Yeah. Fighting lions. Invention. They were fighting lions back then in, in Rome. You know? He had the nerve to call us Negroes back then. In those kings, like the brother just mentioned, we were called Hebrew Israelites. Mm -hmm. They, they know who we are. And you, yeah. you know, you elite, you know, you know it. But these uh, pieces of shit that uh, go on the comic board, what do you call them? Cockroaches? Cockroaches. Yeah. 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 They, they don't know. No. Hey, we're we're right. Right. I like them. We're having fun. No, I mean, yeah. we're having fun. I like them. Man, yeah. you guys make my job interesting. <laughs> and really, uh, so called white people don't have a, a culture. Yeah. You guys yeah. steal everybody yeah. else's culture. Yeah. Yeah. Parasites. Yeah, yeah. Real you guys don't have your own gods or nothing. <laughs> nothing. Anywhere they, they can go because away. they were only created to deceive. You know? yeah. 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 They were set up to deceive. Yeah. They weren't, you, you, your, your, your race, your nation wasn't even set up to flourish Conquer. because you're going to be destroyed. Yeah. 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 Son of perdition. Yeah, son of perdition. Yeah. Son of which son perdition son. means destruction. Wow. And the most I love that hates wickedness. And you're called a board of wickedness. That's the right. Most I hate you, man. Sure. You know, sucks to be you. The only thing what Esau's is great at is killing people and lying. Yeah. 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 That's all he's good at. Yeah. 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 That's all yeah. the song. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
This is a uh, Sirach chapter 19, verse 25. Um, it says, "There, no, actually, uh, verse 26. There is a wicked man that hangeth down his head sadly, but inwardly he is full of deceit." <laughs> that's how he came on. That's how he came on board. You know what I mean? That's how your ancestors, because you keep talking about the Spaniards. That's how your ancestors came to the Aztecs. He said, "We conquer the Aztecs." He did con uh, conquer the Aztecs. The Aztecs, like the brother said, your name was uh, Conquistadors, which yeah. is Spanish for conquer, you know. But a lot of those, a lot of the help you got was from Israelites. That's right. That's right. You yeah. even, you even admitted it. Huh. You, you even said the Moors helped us. The Moors did this. The Moors, who are the Moors? A bunch of blonde, blonde hair, blue eyed men in turbans? No, those are Israelites, dark skinned men. Well, he knows. You, you see know? that? Mm -hmm. He's yeah. a deceiver. Man. Yeah. He knows the truth, but he's a nigger. Yeah. 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 Another word for conqueror. The truth hurts. It would be, it would be, it would be the murderers. Because there's no just killing there. Right? The, 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 the man came, 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 came to you with, 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 with a plight face showing you the, the different parts of the land. You guys murdered the man. I call the yeah. yeah. conqueror. Yeah, when, when, yeah. when Columbus came, he looked. He, he, he scoped out everything and he said, with 50 men, we can take the whole island. Right. Yeah. And then these can be good servants for us. Yeah. And Jake is that simple now because even, even Allen's, you see how Jake moved towards, towards Esau, it's like a friend. Hey, what? Mm -hmm. They're very friendly still, man, to this day. Mm -hmm. Right? So nothing going in the sun. But among to, to their brothers, they're wicked. Jake, uh, so yeah, yeah. Man, yeah. Uh, Elon Mike could go to Jamaica or some yeah. violent place in the South America or some kind okay. and be like, Yeah, I had a good time. I went all over. Yeah, yeah. yeah. as an Israelite, you know, you go to that country, yeah. 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 you're wearing, yeah. you're looking over you're your weird. shoulder. I see Mormons walking around like on a bicycle, like which was which castle man in, yeah. in Jamaica, okay. and you're like in the, in the window, but like, let's walk around this bicycle, man. Yeah. 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 Mormon. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> hey, but remember, he saw he saw the dangerous man. He saw he yeah. saw too. He's a traveling dagger, man. Yeah. Yeah. Traveling yeah. weapon. You'll, you'll see an Edomite at three o'clock in the morning somewhere. You just just shredded. Yeah. <laughs> and some, and some, yeah. some skinny ass shorts and, yeah. and, yeah. and, yeah. and, yeah. and a white golf team. And he could be a killer, man. Yeah. 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 He could be Dexter. Yeah, yeah. it could be Dexter. That's yeah. right, man. Outside, you know, sure, man, in the winter. It's it's man. Man. <laughs> Sometimes you see that in the country. You see the Edomite hitchhiking. It's crazy, man. Verse 27, casting down his countenance and making as if he heard not where he is not known and he will do the mischief before thou be aware. And that's exactly what Cain did, man. He casted down his uh, countenance. You know, he got angry. He got wroth with the Lord, even though he knew he was wicked. And he, this guy knows everything that he's talking about, man. Right? He's casting down his head. And coming, uh, trying to be subtle and uh, cause dissension. Who does? This is uh, Ecclesiastes 8 and 13. But it should not be well with the wicked, neither shall he prolong his days, which are as a shadow, because he feared not before Yahweh Bashem Um It says, There is a vanity which is done upon the earth that there be just men unto whom it happened according to the work of the wicked. Again, there be wicked men to whom it happened according to the work of the righteous. I said that this also is vanity. And the main point was in 13 because you guys think that you're going to establish and colonize forever and think you're going to keep deceiving the people and say Europeans built everything, but at the end, your days are being shortened. Even now, you guys can't even build without something breaking or your cities. Your economics, uh, economics collapsing. You guys are getting torn up in Australia. You guys have no home. You can't even return back over there. Anywhere you dwell, mostly is jacking you all up. Because you guys are hitting that period where you guys are going to go right back in rightful place as servants. That's even right now, a lot of their children, uh, like wealthy people or uh, middle class people, their children are suffering, like no jobs right now, drugs, That's and right. so on. So right now, they're losing power. So the next... Let's say the next ten to let's say this kingdom goes on the next ten to twenty years. Esau is destroyed. Yeah. The Chinese are gonna yeah. rise, you know. Arabs, yeah. Indians, yeah. everyone else is gonna be above Esau. Even Jake. Yeah. Even Jake's is getting uh, yeah. more richer than Esau. Yeah. That's the reason why they want to establish the new world order. Yeah. yeah. So when the nations could be under them. Yeah. That's a fraud, you know? Yeah, they kill off a lot of people. Kind. Yeah. This is on uh, Numbers 24 and 18. 
and Edom shall be a possession. Seir also shall be a possession for his enemies, and Israel shall do violently. Out of Jacob shall come he that shall have dominion, and shall destroy him that remaineth of the city. And when he looked on Amalek, which is the head tribe of Esau, he took up his parable and said, Amalek was the first of the nations, but his latter end shall be that he perish forever. That's right. And that's your future. You know, your future is that you're going to serve a thousand years of hardcore slavery, and then the whole of your nation will be wiped out. There's going to be no more showing about Christopher Columbus and Abraham Lincoln and all this. All this. Yeah, no more monuments of all your paganism. None of that, man. No more influence. Yeah. Okay. Hey, but now he, he said he said these guys are mean for saying that all white people are going to be slaves. But <laughs> the worst. What, what the hell happened? Five hundred years, man. Yeah. What were you? Well, well who were the slaves? No. Huh? Right. I have a question. Were the Chinese or the Japanese? Most you guys. Man said so not all whites are racist toward niggers or enslave them. There you go. There you go. Just get ready for slavery, man. That's right. This is uh Psalms two one. This Why do the heathen rage? That's right. <laughs> That's right. That's right. <laughs> and the people imagine a vain thing. That's right. Because the, 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 the vain thing is that your your rush is going to continue forever. Exactly. Yeah, right? right. So so you're going to get a trick back. And again, it's up to be you. Right. <laughs> and um, Esau should hate our guns. He's saying good things. Yes. Yeah. 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 That's right. Yeah. Saying good yeah. things. Because yeah. yes. no. no. when we're in rulership and you're in captivity, <laughs> that's going to be a great day for us. Right. right? right. right. Because the, the 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 heaven that um that he's thinking about is actually a, a, a state of being, right? Kind of. Right. And we're going to be in heaven because we're going to be in that that state of heaven. We're going to be in that state of abundance, man. Right. And you're going to be in the state of hell because in that day you won't be able to get right. Nothing's right. Can't he, get right. Esau won't be able to get right. Just like we can't get right in that day, Esau won't it's be able to get like, right. It's going to be like um, it's going to be like white man's uh, burden. Yeah, kind of. John Travolta. <laughs> you know, John Travolta. Travolta. just fucked up. <laughs> you know? And then in, in, in his kingdom, like every other nation is is plus on his their women backs. Like every, I see his women with a Chinaman, with, with an Arab man, and they're loving it. In our kingdom, you, you won't be look at our women. Not at all. Not at all. <laughs> at all. Not at all. Like, oh we're the lowest gosh. estate, and, and, and your women are lusting after us. Yeah. Imagine when we're, we're, we're in our glory. Wow. Right? Wow. <laughs> and won't have no Gillette. No Sunday. No Sunday. No Sunday. No Sunday. No Gillette. No Sunday. No No Sunday. No No this is James 2 and 13. This is for he shall have judgment without mercy no, that no, has no showed mercy. no mercy. Gosh, right. So you're talking no, about mercy. Oh, we're mean. You're going to see who the true mean person is. Yeah, Most right. coming back. He's a terrible power. Man. Meditate. You know, man, yeah, meditate right. terror. Right. right? It says, and mercy rejoiceth against judgment. <laughs> you know? And you're going to see that, man. You're going to see what true meanness is man and it's not mean it's, it's just balance right. you, know, you, you showed us disfavor and disdain and hatred so we're going to do the same to you we have to tip the scale man that's right yeah. and some of those devices what they had for the slaves if you try to run away they would um kill you cover, they make a muzzle basically like a human muzzle where uh it has like it's so pointy that if you try to run in the forest it gets caught that's right so like you can't escape yeah. They yeah. put a chain or a chain or like a, a ball iron or whatever yeah. around your around your ankle. Yep. And a whole bunch of other torture and devices. That's right, man. Yeah. But but we're, we're the nicest in, in, in so called niceness because nice means not know, but according to you, nice means something good. So we're the nicest and prepare slaughter for his children. That's right. That's what most I said. That's what we call God says prepare slaughter for your children. Yeah, well, you just admitted you guys conquered the, the Aztecs. Right? right. So what, what did you do to the Aztecs? Right. Right. If, they, if they didn't bring back a certain quote of gold, you would chop off their hand, you know, chop yeah. off their foot. Yeah. So, so where's the niceness there? And Christopher Columbus said he could even put his sword down for an hour. 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 Mm -hmm. They was they kill so much people. They play sports, you know, kick kick uh, people's soccer. heads, yeah. 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 you know, like soccer. kick people's heads uh -huh. off and stuff. That's Do right. all kinds of stuff. Man. Yeah, that's right. Yeah. Yeah. 
I got it. Uh, uh, meditate terror is Isaiah yeah. 33 and 18. That's right. Thy heart shall meditate terror. Mm -hmm. Where is the scribe? Where is the receiver? Where is he that counted the towers? That's right. All right. So it, this is in the scriptures, man. We're going to meditate how to torture you in the worst ways possible. You thought what you guys did to us is bad. Wait until you have Bashar Mishai put it in our mind and how to torture you guys. We were He's the king of the king. Yeah, that's right. That's right. And, and we're going to have spiritual power. And we're going to have spiritual power. So that's the worst. <laughs> and we're going to just be testing out our new bodies in that day. It's like, what is this dude? Yeah, that's right. <laughs> what, is this, what is this one for? <laughs> what is this one for? <laughs> <laughs> no, no, no one what knew this. What is this do? That's right, man. Sure, sure, sure. Do you see the hand flu? <laughs> hey, it's like it's like that's why I love uh, Dragon Ball Z, man. Yeah. Because it's like Yahusha is um, is Goku, and he's up there training, getting right. Yeah. So by the time he comes back, he comes back. Yeah, yeah. Already, man. And then when we see him. And we get the bodies. We're not. We're gonna be like, damn. How do you use these? Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> but he's gonna be like, oh, yeah. he's ready to go. And that's so yeah. spiritual it's because following. his evolution it went from him being normal, right, all the way to what he ultimately became a god. He yeah, went con. surpassed the god. Yeah, right? con. Con. you know. So that shows you that's rep that's representing. Yeah, I was shy, and he's gonna come and do you guys some serious dirt, man. <laughs> he says that. He says what? He, uh, it's in his words. Yeah, and that's but because you guys think that the sun is for you guys, that's right. not knowing that he's actually coming to spill your blood. Yeah, but sure. that's something that uh, Elder Ariel said years ago. He said, He said, the most I tricked you devils into thinking you're Christians. <laughs> yeah. You can have the scriptures, you keep the scriptures. Because if you really knew what the deal was about, you would have destroyed the scriptures, yeah, man. That's right. You would have never printed. There's no Gideon Bible, no King James uh, printing press, uh, the apocryphal printing press. Right. You know? So um, it's, it's, it is somebody got to get Isaiah 62. I got it right here. Yeah. Isaiah 62. I got it right here. Oh, yeah. More than a couple of them. Isaiah just two and three. So you uh, got somewhere to talk, but I was going to say the point. You could start from the top. All right, all right. <laughs> so it says, who is this that comes, cometh from Edom mm -hmm. with dyed garments mm -hmm. from Bozrah? Yeah, of course you break it down. So, so basically, Bozra was a, was a town, an ancient ancient city, right? But now it's referred to like like where all you people are scattered. You either might because you know the people is is, is is what the land of the people, the people that makes land. So we get scattered, basically Bozra, all right, with dyed garments. Sorry, so it's like a, this that this that is glorious in his apparel. That's Yahweh, traveling in the greatness of his strength. I that speak in righteousness, mighty to save. So no, Yahweh is basically the savior and the redeemer. So that's again referring to him, and and, and traveling in the greatness of strength. So that's uh, the chariots, man. Sure. All right. Verse two. Wherefore art thou red in thine garment, in thine apparel, and thy garments like him that treadeth in the wine bed? So we're and, wondering. And it's talking about his new body too, because he gone. said, "I shall not meet thee as a man." Gone. 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 It's gone. Gone. When he comes back, he ain't gonna have that same body that he saw him before. I've trodden the winepress alone, and of the people there was none with me, for I will tread them in my anger. So Yahweh Shai saying, I don't want no help. <laughs> this is mine. All right, so get into it. And trample them in my fury, and their blood, that's literally blood, right. shall be sprinkled upon my garments, and I will stain all my raiment for the day of vengeance is in my heart Jeez. it's in his mind you're just sitting there waiting right Jeez. so just like we're waiting he's waiting all right and the year of my redeem is come and we're in the time man that's right <laughs> we're in the time and you see this, you feel it, man. Hey, don't worry, the Arabs are going in slavery too. Man. That's right. <laughs> yeah, yeah. That's You're right. gonna have to go yo, that's the thing of Esau. Oh, the Arabs did it or Africans, Africans yeah, yeah, yeah. Come on. everyone that is sleeping the Israelites yeah. they're gonna get theirs, man. That's, that's right. right. All right. There's a, got a there's shirt, a there's an exact balance coming to this earth, man. You know, there's a power coming to this earth, and he's gonna search out all iniquity, man. Right. You know, right. go ahead. 
Esau's a snitch. Just to back the elder up real quick. This is uh, Jeremiah 30, 16. Therefore, all they that devour thee shall be devoured, and all thy adversaries, every one of them, shall go into captivity, and they that spoil thee shall be a spoil, right. and all that prey upon thee will I give for a prey. That's right. So, so all right, it's kind of like, whosoever, <laughs> you know, John 16, whosoever, man. <laughs> all means all, man. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, but you're going to have certain, like, certain, like, um, slaves who's, who's going to be taskmaster, like, certain <laughs> hammers, yeah, yeah. you know, who, who's going to be, like, what's his name, Stefan from, um, from Django, or whatever. <laughs> you know, yeah. like I have my stuff. Yeah, they're gonna be they're yeah. gonna be hard on their people. Yeah, yeah. for us, yeah. for our sake. <laughs> what do you mean, son? Yeah. Scripture. Uh, okay, bring it. Bring it. Okay, I told him something. All right. All right. Uh, this is Deuteronomy chapter thirty-two and twenty-five. It says, "The sword without and the terror within shall destroy both the young man and the virgin." The suckling also with the man of gray hairs. I said I would scatter them into corners. I would make the remembrance of them to cease from among men. Were it not that I feared the wrath of the enemy, lest their advers adversaries should behave themselves strangely, and lest they should say our hand is high and the Lord has not done all this. I know, I know. All you're reading about now is the justice part of it, all right? Us coming back to this truth, like but we're promised vengeance because in Revelation it says we're going to do double, right? So this is the justice, man, right? Because there's a judgment for what was done unto us because remember the scripture says that they forward the affliction. So for them forwarding the affliction and doing things that are unheard of, well, there's going to be a judgment for that, man, and those judgments... It, it, it's going to be scriptural, right? Because right. right? at that time, when we're putting this punishment on Esau, we're going to have the laws written in us. Got so it's right. not like we're going to be doing the weird shit Esau was doing, you know, like popping his woman and he's right there, and like, still sick. doing you're weird, the man sick shit. Board. Popping a man. You know, we're not going to be doing sick shit like that. But everything we're going to be doing is going to be is going to be done because that's going to be a sentence so that was passed. It's going to all be lawful. It's going to be a lawful sentence, right? right? We're going to pull up the, your, your records are going to be pulled, rap right? Sheet. Your rap sheet. That's right, man. His rap sheet is going to be pulled up. Your sentence for this. This is your sentencing for this. It says, verse 28, it says, for they are a nation void of um, counsel. Neither there is there any understanding in them. Oh, that they were wise, that they understood this, that they would consider their latter end. That's right. Exactly. And, and that's what we're here for. And that's what the prophets have always been for. What have the prophets always been for? To tell you about the latter end. Right. That's, right. That's, a, that, that's been the job of the prophets forever. The because in every kingdom, people have forever been in, 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 in that um, the prosperity mode. Yeah. Yeah. It's always been the prophets to come in and let them know, hey, there's an end for the way that you're behaving, for the way you're moving. There, there, there's a judgment for it. But in every kingdom, you go to Egypt, Egypt was living it up. You go to Persia, they were living it up. You go to Babylon, they were, everywhere you go, they were living it up until the prophets came and told them there's going to be judgment for this. And when you go into the history... Um, the same way um, this place is falling down was the same way they went through the same thing to women against men. That's um, right. Lack of jobs, lack That's of right. food, everything. The same way. So it's uh, a description that there's nothing under the sun. That's right. Mm -hmm. That's right. Yeah. Quick, 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 quick. Yeah. It says um, Jeremiah 28, 28, and 8. The prophets that have been before me and before thee of old prophesied both against many countries and against Ooh. great kingdoms mm -hmm. of war, of evil mm -hmm. and of pestilence that's right so what the brother said man that's what we're here for to tell you judgment at the sure. latter end where's the latter end man that's right. <laughs> <laughs> like we're the only ones <laughs> prophesying <laughs> like where's the so-called white uh, so-called white yeah. christians or, yeah, or, yeah. or yeah. jewish people rabbis they're they're not doing it. prophets it's who's, who's talking about the destruction of america that's, that's right. right 
It's only it's only the Israelites. That's right. That's right. The true Israelites. That's right. It says, uh, verse thirty it says, "How should one chase a thousand and two put ten thousand to flight?" Spiritual powers, man. As the brother went to earlier. That's right. That's right. Except their rock had sold them, and the Lord had shut them up. For their rock is not as our rock, even That's our right. enemies themselves being judges. For their vine is as of the vine of Sodom and of the fields of Gomorrah. Mm -hmm. Their grapes are grapes of gall. Their clusters are bitter. Mm -hmm. Totally, you know, he said, said that Sodom and Gomorrah. Mm -hmm. You know what right now, man? <laughs> yep. You know we're on the streets, man. You should be on the streets prophesying, prophesying and calling out, man. So mm -hmm. Now we have to be in a brother's home. Yeah. Right? Because what? Because you fag is there, man. Yeah, description. That's, 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 that's what we're going to do. Send up judgment on them. Right. Right. Because look what the most side made. The most side made it. It's raining on them. It doesn't stop them. No, I know it doesn't stop them. The most side is washing them. It's a big fog, too, man. Yeah, it's nasty up there, man. Yeah, calm. Nasty. Calm. It says, probably the cherry. Exactly. Their wine oh, is the strong. poison of dragons right. and the cruel venom of ass. Right? right? Which that goes into what? Phone. Which goes into their oh. different philosophies, oh. man. Mm -hmm. All this philosophy of what? Of deception. Yeah. Right? They have deceived us good, man. All these different religions. Who do you think these different religions suck in? Jake. Jake, man. Go ahead. Man. It says, is not this laid up in store with me and sealed up among my treasures to belong vengeance and re recompense? Mm -hmm. Their foot shall slide in due time. Yes, yeah, we're watching their foot slide. That's right. right. For the day of their calamity is at hand. And why should the, why should their foot slide? Second as your six and seven, man. That's right. Mm -hmm. yeah. The world, man. Because right. Jacob. Letter in, letter in. Yeah. Jacob, we're grabbing that heel right now, right? right? We're, we're doing a, a, a UFC move, right? <laughs> yeah. 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 yeah, where are you going? <laughs> and the things that shall come upon them make haste. For the Lord shall judge his people and repent himself for his servants. When he seeth that their power is gone and their none shut up or left, and he shall say, where are their gods, their rock, in whom they trusted. Yeah, that's right. That's why one of, you got, one of the favorite stories is, is Bell, right? You, you read Bell, chapter one and one, man, that, that will let you know right then and there, man, that these people actually believe in these, these deities, man. Mm -hmm. They're heavy into their, 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 uh, uh, their idols, man. Mm -hmm. Them idols have these people bogged out of their mind. Look what they gave them. They gave us on a subjection, man. So they must be evil. Con. They, they saw we, we, we went in slavery and we low to the God. Con. So they say, yeah, this, this shit works. This shit works. <laughs> <laughs> it says, well, but Salaki, just to say, because, um, you know, because it said, who's, how are they going to hold on to that rock, that right? Rock, yeah. Uh, it just shows you all these uh, deities that they worship. It's not a solid foundation. That's the right. rock that you're supposed to cling on is the chief cornerstone, right. which is Yahweh that's that's right. right. You know, and that's what's going to deliver the elect and yeah. the 144. That's right. It says, which did eat the fat of their sacrifices and drank the wine of their drink offerings. Let them rise up and help you and be your protection. See now that I even I am he. And there is no God with me. <laughs> Which goes into Bell, Bell and the Jack. I say if you read Bell, that's mm -hmm. it. It's gonna let you know. Bring it, bring out Bell real quick. Yeah, bring it out real, real quick. I kill and I make alive. That's right. That's I right. wound and I heal. Neither is there any that can deliver out of my hand. For I lifted up my hand to heaven and one I one. say, I hold live on, forever. On, who was it? Mm -hmm. I, 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 that bell oh, and the dragon, yeah. uh, chapter one, verse one, it says, And the king, Asterius, was gathered to his, his fathers, and Cyrus of Persia received his kingdom. And Daniel conversed with the king and was honored above all his friends. Sure. Now the Babylonians had an idol mm -hmm. called Bell, mm -hmm. and there were spent upon him every day 12 great measures of fine flour <laughs> and 40 sheets. 
and six vessels of wine. Dude, that, that's, 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 not a God, that's not a God to be played with. Yeah. Yeah. Holy shit. That's, that's how much they Slaughter. believed in him. Yeah. Holy shit. That's, that, that's not somebody to play with. Yeah, that's heavy. Yeah, that's heavy. Yeah, that's heavy. And, 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 and he's back here today. Right. They, they're worshiping that same God here today again. <laughs> you call him Baphomet. Yeah. <laughs> you know what it says? And the king worshipped it and went daily to adore it. But Daniel worshipped his own power. That's right. And the king said unto him, Why does not thou worship Bel? <laughs> Who answered and said, Because I may not worship idols made with hands. You see? That's, right. That's our answer. Right? We're not allowed to, man. I, mean, right. I can't. Right. Like, it's so simple, man. Every This, this kingdom wants us to, to join them. Uh, but we're not allowed to join yeah, you. Right, we're right. not allowed. We're secular. Why can't we, we we sleep with men? Because we're not allowed to. Right. Our law, statute, and commandment yeah. says we are not allowed to. That's right. That's right. We cannot eat pork, our law says. Our law says we can't worship idols. God. That's what Daniel said. Read what Daniel said again. It says, Who answered and said, Because I may not worship idols made with hands, <laughs> but the living power. That's all. That's all allowed to worship. We're allowed to worship the living power. So if you brothers want to worship the living power, go ahead. That's allowed. That's a green light on that. Go ahead. It says, who has created the heaven and the earth. That's who you can worship. You guys want somebody to worship? Worship the creator of heaven and earth. That's right. 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 Keep going. And have sovereignty over all flesh. Damn. That's this, our God. That's our right. God that's has right. sovereignty over all oh, flesh. Right. Then said the king unto him, Thinkest thou not that Bel is a living power? <laughs> Seest thou not how much he is eating and drinking every day? <laughs> That's a justification. <laughs> 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 it says, Then Daniel smiled and said, O king, be not deceived. For this is but clay within and brass without, and did and did never eat or drink anything. <laughs> so the king was wroth and called for his priests and said unto them, If ye tell me not who this is that devoured these expenses, ye shall die. But if ye can certify me that Bel devoured them, then Daniel shall die. I bet that priest was fat. <laughs> Big fat priest. For he has spoken blasphemy against Bell. And Daniel said unto the king, Let it be according to thy word. Now the priests of Bell were three score and ten, seventy, beside their wives and children. And the king went with Daniel into the temple of Bell. So Bell's priest said, Lo, we go out, but thou, O king, set on the meat and make ready the wine and shut the door fast and seal it with thy own signet. And tomorrow, when thou comest in, if thou findest not that Bell has eaten of all, we will suffer death, or else Daniel, that speaketh falsely against us. And they little regarded it. For under the table they had made a private entrance, whereby they entered in continually and consumed those things. <laughs> <laughs> so when they were gone forth, the king set meat before Bel. Now Daniel had commanded his servants to bring ashes, and those they strewed throughout all the temple in the presence of the king alone. Then went they out and shut the door and sealed it with the king's signet, and so departed. Now in the night came the priests with their wives and children, as they were as they were wont to do, and did eat and drink of all. In the morning, be time, the king arose and Daniel with him. And the king said, Daniel, are the seals whole? He said, Yea, O king, they be whole. And as soon as he had opened the door, the king looked upon the table and cried with a loud voice, Great art thou, O Bell, with thee is no deceit at all. Then laughed Daniel and held the king that he should not go in. And he said, Behold.
of men, women, and children. And then the king was angry and took the priests with their wives and children who shoot in the privy doors where they came in and consumed such things as were upon the table. Therefore, the king slew them and delivered Bel into Daniel's power, who destroyed him and his temple. You know what I'm talking about earlier on? The exactly. <laughs> I was just thinking that. Yeah, excuse me. Exactly. He's got, he's got yeah, more. Yeah, that was the point. That was the point. Was the point. <laughs> First Kings 18, and I'll get right to the point. Um, and I'll jump on 27. This is going into the priest of Baal, Baal right? And what um, Elijah had to do to them. So uh, verse 27 so that noon, Elijah began, began, began to make them pray louder. He said, if Baal really is God, maybe he is thinking, <laughs> or busy, <laughs> or traveling. <laughs> maybe he is sleeping. <laughs> so you will have to make <laughs> The prophet prayed louder, cutting themselves with swords. And spares and until your blood flows. <laughs> oh, look, and they still do that. Yeah, they still do that. Yeah. And, uh, yeah. and Philip, yeah. <laughs> India. Is it the, the Shiites? All over the, the, world. the Shiites do that? Yeah, the Shiites and the Sunnis? Yeah, the Sunnis. Yeah, the Sunnis. Yeah, the yeah, the, the Khazars do it as well. Right. Oh, man. They, they, um, also, the, the, Jesuit, <laughs> the, the Jesuit priests wear something that cuts into their flesh that reminds them of their duty. I forgot what it's called. Oh, yeah. But they wear it. It's on their body always. God. And it cuts into their flesh every time they walk. Or something Moab like does it. Spin yeah. from being so, every nation. Yeah. Yeah. To remind them of their duty and what they have to do for the whole. Yeah, but Jake has a problem with the with the, with the laws of the Most High, man. These heathens have some crazy fucking laws. <laughs> Damn, yeah. that If you were in their religion, you'd have to do that shit. Con. You know, you'd have to Cut your fucking hand and <laughs> do all this crazy shit. <laughs> yeah. you, tell, you, tell, you tell a, 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 a Jake, don't eat pork. Don't eat pork. <laughs> 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 what do you do? I'm going to I agree with him. like, but pork. I rebuke you. Yeah, verse 40, and then it read that. Let's run that a little bit more. It says, but the way they worship, quote, the afternoon passed, and and the prophets continued to act like this until it was time for the evening sacrifice. Jeez. But no voice was heard. But all did not answer, and no one paid attention. And it goes on. Mm. So, oh yeah, you could have read more. Yeah. You can go on somewhere then. Um, verse forty. I says Deuteronomy thirty-two, verse forty. It says, "For I lift up my hand to heaven and say, I live forever." I got a comment on that. Listen, um. This here, this is Moses speaking, right? Mm -hmm. And he had the charge. That's what uh, when you go to the book of uh, when you go to the book of um, Daniel and, and Revelation, it says here that he swears, right? Mm -hmm. He lift up his hand and swear. So, so the men of the Most High, starting from uh, the apostles on down, mm -hmm. swear by Him that liveth forever and ever. Mm -hmm. and all these things that we say is going to come to pass. Mm -hmm. Okay, so it doesn't matter what you say. And that's what was being said here. Um, and that was uh, being pointed out because yeah. the next precept goes into what's going to happen. It says, if I wet my glittering sword and my hand take hold on judgment, hmm. I will render vengeance yes. to my enemies yes. and I will reward them that hate me. It's for you people that don't believe that hate exists. Yahweh mm -hmm. said he's going to destroy the, uh, those Bring vengeance, mm -hmm. and he's going to especially destroy those who hate him. Well, tell us glittering sword is. Yeah. Well, the good boy. <laughs> well, the glittering sword is what you guys are trying to uh, uh, denuclearize. But it's going to be. It, 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 it's in vain you guys are doing that because it's going to be sent over here to Babylon and destroy you. Yeah, destroy it's weapons. It's mass cookout. Mm -hmm. Bonfire. Big bonfire. Yeah, they love that shit, does it? Yeah. <laughs> <Go on. laughs> okay, I'll just read this last piece. Verse 42, it says, I will make my arrows drunk with blood, and my sword shall devour flesh, that, and that with the blood of the slain and of the captivities from the beginning of revenge upon the enemy. 
Mm-hmm. And it's not talking about like a physical sword like in Game of Thrones where they put fire yeah. on the sword. <laughs> it's talking about the Oops. nuclear missiles, man, bringing that fire. Sure. 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 This is uh, Baruch 6 and 1. It says, because of the sins which he uh, committed before the Most High, he shall be led away captives into Babylon by Nebuchadnezzar, king of the Babylonians. So when he come unto Babylon, he shall remain there many days and for a long season, namely seven generations. And after that, I will bring you away peaceably from thence. Now shall you see in Babylon gods of silver and of gold and of wood born upon shoulders, which cause the nations to fear. Beware, therefore, that ye in no wise be like to strangers, neither be ye afraid of them. Because when my people don't like us, right. you know, because we're against all these idols. That's right. That's right. That's right. That's right. That's right. It says, um, it's lucky. Uh, neither be ye afraid of them when ye see the multitude before them and behind them, worshipping them. But didn't you hear what the king wanted to do to, to Daniel? Mm-hmm. He wanted to put Daniel to death for right. mm-hmm. disrespecting Bell. Mm-hmm. Right. Right. So that's how these people feel about us. They want to put us to death. Right. Right. And you see that a lot. Remember um, on Young Street years ago, they had that guy and everyone was carrying it. Oh, on yeah. Oh, it was a big yeah. fucking... It was a big yeah. fucking yeah. dirty, nasty piece of shit. Was it the Turks? No, no, Turks? no. I think it was like Thai or Indian, Indonesian or yeah, something like that. Yeah. Philippines or some shit. Can I finish? Oh, still, yeah, it's still more. Um, it says, uh, verse 6, But say ye in your hearts, O Lord, we must worship thee, for mine angel is with you, and I myself caring for your souls. As for their tongue, it is polished by the workmen, and they themselves are gilded and laid over with silver, yet are they but false and cannot speak. And taking gold as it, as it were for a virgin that loveth to go gay, they made crowns for the heads of their gods. Of course they can mm-hmm. speak, because which other uh, uh, um, uh, doctrine or knowledge has our prophecies? Mm-hmm. None. Mm-hmm. Zero. Tell me which one. Is it, is, it, is, is, it, is, it you, um, is it you uh, You Africans? Do, in Africa, you have thousands and thousands of gods. Mm-hmm. Which one of you guys have the, the, the truth, the prophecy? Right. Which one of you talks about the chip? Which 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 one of these different religions talks about the mark of the beast? Right. Mm-hmm. Which one of them talks about World mm-hmm. War One, World War Two? Which one of them talks about every kingdom that's ever come into well, existence? Yeah, right. mm-hmm. Who? Which which book gives you the nationality of everybody on planet Earth? That's right. That's right. Which book? Only the Bible gives that's you right. the script. <laughs> of every people on planet earth right it has a table of nations i can give you a table of nations in my book in your book can you give me a table of nations <laughs> it says, uh, verse uh, i can tell you who your i can tell you who your forefather was mm-hmm. i can tell you where you come from yep, yep. which is what a man should know a man should know who his forefathers are and where you come from too right yes, it says Verse 10, sometimes also the priests convey from their gods gold and silver and bestow it upon themselves. <laughs> yeah. Yea, they will give the rub to the common harlots and deck them as men with garments, being gods of silver and gods of gold and wood. Yet cannot these gods save themselves from rust and moths, though they be covered with purple raiment. They wipe their faces because of the dust of the temple. When there is much upon them. Yeah, that's right. And we're laughing at the the, 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 the idols, but the priests and the people who, 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 who are like the magicians, they're not playing. They don't play. They really have power, mm-hmm. right? They just worship these pagan deities, but those priests, they, 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 they have power. They spirits. The left yeah, spirits. Yeah, yeah, they deal with the spirits yeah, on the left hand side. Yeah. Yeah. It says, it's some yeah. verse 14, and, and he that cannot put to death one that offendeth him, holdeth a scepter, mm-hmm. as though he were a judge of the country. He had also in his right hand a dagger and an axe, but cannot deliver himself from war and peace, <laughs> <laughs> whereby they are not, it's like, whereby they are known not to be gods, therefore fear them not. I'll stop there. Yeah, that's right, because that's why we when you rest, that. you can go back to that's Isaiah 63. What did Yahusha say? There's nobody with me. Where, where's Buddha? Is, is Buddha going to come? <laughs> is Vishnu? Yeah. Vishnu's coming? 
No, none of them guys are going to be there. So, yeah, Celestia are going to be there on that day. Mother Kush, the There's nobody with him. Kush, Empire. He is the covering lion of the tribe of Judah. He is the one who was able to loose them, see us, right? No one else was able to do it. No one else was able to do it. No other God, no other nobody. I don't care who you worship. Who you worship is false. You worship a false god, a false deity. And and they even have the nerve to even talk talk about their god because they're getting destroyed by Esau, and no god is helping them. We know why we got destroyed. That's right. Because we're going off. We know why we're at the bottom. You guys don't know why we're happening to you. Why you guys are getting blown to bits and all that stuff. Even you Muslims, you guys fight against each other. Like your your religion is a bunch of confusion. Yeah. Yeah. And then for Jake in it, like the Muslims had us as slaves or the Arabs or whatever. Yeah. And Jake makes a nation of Islam. The nation of Islam. <laughs> and all Farrakhan quotes in the Bible. It's the Bible. <laughs> Bring it down. Clean face. Right. Well, I'm just trying to the Quran has no answers. Because we supposed to be the leader of the Muslim world, whatever that everyone looks to, fair black Muslim world. Yeah, black Muslim world. Why does he never ever quote Quran? <laughs> Man never quotes any of it. He always goes back to the Bible. Bible says. Or you, the, like you see their woman in a hijab and stuff. They sit on one side of the church or a synagogue or whatever the fuck is called the mosque. The mosque. <laughs> the mosque. They sit on one side of the mosque and the men there. Yeah, you wear a suit and tie. Like, what? It's like a Christian church. Well, <laughs> you know, Gillette best they can get. Come on. <laughs> this is uh, Exodus chapter 7, verse 8. And Yahweh spake unto Moses and unto Aaron, saying, When Pharaoh shall speak unto you, saying, Show a miracle for you. Then thou shalt say unto Aaron, Take thy rod and cast it before Pharaoh, and it shall become a serpent. And Moses and Aaron went it unto Pharaoh, and they did so as Yahweh had commanded. And Aaron cast down his rod before Pharaoh and before his servants, and it became a serpent. And this is our heritage, man. We have a heritage of power, right? Because what did Yahweh say? Yahweh says, what you see me do, you do greater, man. Right? right? So our heritage is that, man. We do have that as well. The Bible has forever been talking about spiritual power, Forever. Even when you read like Daniel um, about the, um, the men, like Daniel and um, the, the, the three um, servants yeah, or whatever, yeah, and I've been yeah, who were thrown, were thrown in the fiery pit, yeah. and then the angel came and he was over them. Man. Protecting and, um, them not to get burned. Yeah, and he protected them, man. You know? And then um, like, and, like they were saved from that affliction, and then uh, like Nebuchadnezzar ended up like throwing his priest into the fire <laughs> and they burned up, <laughs> you know. So that shows you power right there. As as crazy as it sounds, that's right. You know, like there's many miracles in the in the Bible. You know? right. Verse eleven. Then Pharaoh also called the wise men and the sorcerers, now the magicians of Egypt. So this is like the top magician. So what the elder was bringing out earlier about how these sorcerers don't play. These these guys were on high high levels. Right? They don't play. They they uh cling in, they cling to their powers that they serve on the left hand side, and it does work because yeah. you're seeing it. Yeah, it works. Now the magicians of Egypt, they also did in like manner. Like notice how it says like manner. Mm -hmm. Doesn't mean it's gonna be the same. It says like, right. right? So it's not coming in the same energy as as Yahweh Bashem Yahushai is coming right. with their enchantments, for they cast the, and just shows you how. These people on the left-hand side, they're really inconsistent, you know, because they can't come with the same energy that Yahweh Shai is coming with or, or the Heavenly Father. Somebody get that word for the brother in chat. Oh uh, verse 12, for they cast down every man his rod, and they became serpents, but Aaron's wads, rod swallowed up their rods. And that's the point. Right? Sure. I, got, I, got, um, I got the scripture you wanted. Do you, do you have a word? I have it in the scripture. At um, prayer of Azariah and Apocrypha, chapter 1 and 20, it says, Deliver us also according to thy marvelous works, and give glory to thy name, O Lord. And let all them that do thy servants hurt be ashamed, and let them be confounded in all their power and might, and let their strength be broken, 
and let them know that thou art the most high, the only power and glory, glorious over the whole world. And the king's servants that put them in cease not to make the oven hot with rosin, pitch, tow, and small wood, which uh, um, like tow and and, uh, and and pitch and all that shit is like uh, tar. Yeah, like, like tar. You can also get it from trees and, and, and you can make a great fire. Keep the fire going. Yeah, yeah. Mm. So that the flame streamed forth above the furnace forty and nine cubits. So it was high. And it passed through and burned those Chaldeans it found about the furnace. But the angel of the Lord came down into the oven together with Azarius and his fellows and smote the flame of the fire out of the oven and made the midst of the furnace as it had been a moist whistling wind <laughs> so, that, so that the fire touched them not at all neither hurt nor troubled them then yes. if the lord did that back then imagine what he's gonna do now so, yeah you know because right now he's he's, he's just building up our faith because he, because right now you know like he could have gave us spiritual powers and stuff right, right. if he really wanted to but he's making us wait patiently. Yeah, the righteous shall be uh, scarcely scarcely yeah. saved. That's right. It says, uh, "Then the three, as out of one mouth, praised, praised, glorified, and blessed the Most High in the sure. furnace, saying, Blessed art thou, O Lord, power of our fathers, right. and to be praised and exalted above right. all forever. Right. And blessed is thy glorious and holy name, and to be praised and exalted above all forever." So, so what is that saying about people? Oh, you can't disrespect someone else's beliefs or religions, or you can't put someone down. Well, it just, it just said he's above all powers, man. That's right. Right. It's, it's extol him above everything, man. That's right. You know, uh, bl blessed art thou, temple of thine holy glory, and to be praised and glorified above all forever. That was it. Yeah, um, this is the chapman in the etymology. Uh, 1300 says an act of magic or witchcraft. There you go. It says use of magic, magic power. Yeah. It says magical spell, song, concert, mm -hmm. chorus from enchanter, bewitch. See, mm -hmm. chorus, because you can also enchant people through what? Through music. Mm -hmm. right? Right. That's where that word um, glamour. If you ever look up that word glamour, what yeah. women do, that goes back yeah. to enchantment, uh -huh. because what women do with makeup. Witchcraft. It's uh, it's actually uh, witchcraft, right. especially when you, if you ever talk to a, a real witch. That's what they do. They tell you uh, um, they use makeup as witchcraft because it can actually change someone's features. Mm -hmm. I forgot what movie that was with this fucking white bitch, and she did this, and she changed her appearance. Mm -hmm. She was a redhead, and I think she changed her mind. Mm -hmm. She just went. She was a witch. It was a witch movie. Mm -hmm. and she, movie. she just went like this, and then her. Her whole oh. face changed. Look at transgenderism. It's tra transgender. Yes. Yeah. Look at a man and story of the woman. That's right. <laughs> right? Yeah. So some witchcraft right in the him. Witchcraft right there, man. That's right. That's right. It says, bewitch, charm, enchant, cast a magic spell upon. Yeah, that's a charm. Exactly. They can charm you. Because that's what it is. They, 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 they charm you, man. Huh? Right? That's all you got in there? Um, a little bit more. It says also to sing sense of allumer, allurement. Um, it says, then it goes back to, to sing song. I have one with this. That music is heavy, man. Yeah, that's right. yeah. Remember, yeah. remember Daniel? Yeah, yeah. They, they had the, the music playing. When they heard the music, they all bowed yeah. down to the image. Con, yeah, yeah. Necromancy. Con. That's a good word as well. Yeah, that's right. Mm -hmm. yeah. Sorcery, witchcraft, smooth sing, and gory. Necromancy, definition in numerous forms, and all kinds of magic art, arctic. Necromancy is just dealing with the dead. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The dead. yeah. This mm -hmm. is Daniel 3 and 7. It says, um, or 3 and 5, that, that at what time you hear the sound of the cornet, flute, harp, uh, sackbut, psaltery, dulcimer, and all kinds of music, you fall down and worship the golden image that Nebuchadnezzar the king has set up. And whoso falleth not down and worship shall the same hour be cast into the midst of a burning fiery furnace. Therefore, at that time, when all the people heard the sound of the cornet, the flute, the uh, harp, sackbut, psaltery, and all kinds of music, all the people 
the nations and the languages fell down and worshipped the golden image that Nebuchadnezzar the king had set up. Yeah. They have it right now in the Middle East when they oh, that, that, yeah. that, 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 that jumped on us and, and, and bent down, right? They have it everywhere. It's yeah. a national anthem. Yeah. You know, they say, oh, in God we trust and all that. Yeah. We know it's yeah. Satan. Yeah. Yeah. They sing at basketball games. Yeah. Every, every yeah. day. Yeah. It's in every form. Yeah. 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 music, yeah. any form, yeah. entertainment. Uh, you can go in the entertainment world and find that enchantment. Curses, man. They're just putting out that. I got a quick precept that, uh, that so, brings this together with your own says of uh, Israel. Uh, this is Numbers, yeah. real quick, yeah. Numbers 23 and uh, 20. For sure, there's no enchantment That's right. against Jacob. Neither is there any divination. Against mm -hmm. Israel, right. according to this time, it shall be said of Jacob and of Israel, What hath the Mosai wrought? So, mm -hmm. hey, we follow what Mosai says, and uh, just like how uh, uh, Moses believed, right? We swear by liver forever and ever with our hands up whenever we uh, whenever we pray, whenever we send curses up, we believe this thing. Right, and it takes uh, that that little uh, that little mustard seed faith that he gave us, mm -hmm. and it is a spiritual gift that the brother brought out uh, that we got to cry and sigh over. So we believe this, right? And it's an I believe it's an action word, right? What's yeah, go Daniel six and four. Then the presidents and princes sought to find occasion against Daniel concerning the kingdom, but they could not find an occasion. For, for, nor fault, which but, is what they're trying to do with us now, mm -hmm. right? Which don't 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 be surprised if we're if we're um, if we're infiltrated. Don't be surprised if they have our houses bugged. Yeah, and, tough, you know, that, 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 spying on exactly. You know, that's things. that's going to be normal, right? Yes. Right? They want they want to show any cause to try and take us down, Fun. starting with our elders. Right? For as much as he was faithful. Neither was there any error or fault found in him. Then said these men, We shall not find any occasion against this Daniel, except we find it against him concerning the law of his God. Hmm. Then, the, then these presidents and princes assembled together to the king and said thus unto him, King Darius, live forever. All the presidents of the kingdom, the governors and the princes, the counselors and the captains, have consulted together to establish a royal statute and to make a firm decree that whosoever shall ask a petition of any god or man for 30 days, save of thee, O king, he shall be cast into the den of lions. Now, O king, establish the decree and sign the writing that it be not changed according to the law of the Medes and Persians. Yeah, just like the ban right now. What are they banning? They're banning the Bible. Mm -hmm. yeah. They're banning the Bible right now. So they've been trying to pass these decrees from time. From time. All throughout these different kingdoms, they've been trying to pass different That's decrees right. from a servant, Yahweh Shem Yahweh Shai. That's right. How many times did they call the cops on us? Why are they talking? And the cops say, this man did nothing wrong. That's right. <laughs> I mean, they, they, they say, oh, who? I mean, the guy, yeah, well, no, we can't go to the Look at our um, project, uh, Project Magido, <laughs> and uh, many other laws. Yeah. Many other bills that they have against the Bible. That's right. Yeah, but if you believe in the second coming of the Lord, your turns. Yeah, yeah come on. It says, um, Wherefore King Darius signed the writing and the decree. Now, when Daniel knew that the writing was signed, he went into his house, and his windows being opened in his chamber toward Jerusalem, he kneeled upon his knees three times a day and prayed, which shows you that, you know. Those era they got that from the Bible, man. And now they change it to five right, times. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But they used to pray toward Jerusalem three times a day. Yeah. Morning, noon, and then the night. You know? so, yeah, King, and David said that too. He prayed three times as well. Yeah. So that that's you know, so that shows you that we're supposed to be praying at least three times a day. Mm -hmm. Really you're supposed to pray with you know, you're supposed to pray without ceasing. Mm -hmm. And that's right. Quick, quick yeah. uh, Psalms fifty five seventeen. Evening and morning and at noon will I pray and cry aloud and he shall hear my voice. That's right. That's right. Mm -hmm. And three represents understanding. Yeah. That's right. It says um, in his chamber toward Jerusalem. Well, that's how Shai did. And when uh, Yahweh didn't answer, that's when he knew. Okay. Yeah. The third time. <laughs> he's yeah. not gonna. Yeah. He's not gonna save me. <laughs> I have to go through this. That's right. That's right. That's he kneeled upon his knees three times a day and prayed, 
and gave thanks before his power as he did aforetime. Then these men assembled and found Daniel praying and making supplication before it. Then they came near and spake before the king concerning the king's decree. Hast thou not signed the decree that every man that asked a petition of any god or man within thirty days, save of thee, O king, shall be cast into the den of lions? The king answered and said, The thing is true according to the law of the Medes and Persians, which altereth not. Then answered they sorry, then answered they and said before the king, that Daniel, which is the children of the captivity of Judah, regardeth not thee, O king, nor the decree that thou hast signed, but maketh his petition three times a day. Then the king, when he heard these words, was sore displeased with himself, and set his heart on Daniel to deliver him, and he labored till the going down of the sun to deliver him. Then these as then these men assembled unto the king and said unto the king, Know, O king, that the law of the Medes and Persians is that no decree nor statute which the king established may be changed. The king commanded, and they brought Daniel and cast him into the den alliance. Now the king spake and said unto Daniel, Thy God, whom thou servest continually, he will deliver thee. And a stone was brought and laid upon the mouth of the den, and the king sealed it with his own signet, and with the signet of his lords, that the purpose might not be changed concerning Daniel. Then the king went to his palace and passed the night fasting. Neither were instruments of music brought before him, and the sleep went from him. Then the king arose very early in the morning and went in haste unto the den of lion. And when he came to the den, he cried with a lamentable voice unto Daniel. And the king spake and said to Daniel, O Daniel, servant of the living power, is thy power, whom thou servest continually, able to deliver thee from the lions? Then said Daniel unto the king, O king, live forever. My power hath sent his angel, and hath shut the lions' mouth, that they have not heard me, for as much as before him innocency was found in me. And also before thee, O king, have I done no hurt. Then the king is exceedingly glad for him, and commanded that they should take Daniel up out of the den. So Daniel was taken up out of the den, and no man of hurt was found upon him, because he believed in his power. And the king commanded, and they brought those men which had accused Daniel, and they cast them into the den of lions, right. them and their ch them, their children and their wives, oh and the lions had the mastery of them That's and right. break all their bones in pieces, or ever they came at the bottom of the den. You know, then King Darius wrote unto all people, nation, and languages that dwelt in all the earth, peace be multiplied unto you. I make a decree that in every dominion of my kingdom, men tremble and fear before the God of Daniel, for he is the living power and steadfast forever, and his kingdom, that which shall not be destroyed, and his dominion shall be unto the end. No. That's wow, right. that's powerful stuff, that's right? Yeah. yeah. So uh, even the king Nebuchadnezzar, he got, uh, he got basically like, uh, like he got confounded many humble. times, man. You know, um, just by Daniel the prophet, man. That's right. You know, yeah. like you know that the Most High showed him many things, man. That's right. And he always got humbled, man. Yeah, he prayed three times a day. He was in an attitude. He was in an attitude, uh, attitude of the spirit. Hmm? Oh, good. Oh, sorry. I was oh, well, that's the name of the scripture where uh, Habakkuk was sent to Daniel. Okay. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. That's an apocryphal. Yeah. That's an apocryphal. I would appreciate it. I just want hold on. Let me just make a quick uh, comment on this. Yeah, because um, if you notice, um, he was in an attitude of prayer, right? And um, brother mentioned that um, at least we should pray three times a day. So the attitude of prayer, along with praying three times a day, is they simply put that if if we believe, right, who our Savior is, um, th that attitude of prayer should be in in, in, in the word of truth. I mean, you constantly. Right? You should be in the habit of studying the scriptures, yeah, that's right. so that the, so that the Lord can prepare you. And keep you clean. 
mm-hmm. in the spirit of that's God. That's true. You know, um, so that that's that's the lesson. The mind is like a bell, bell the dragon one thirty five. Oh, yeah. yeah. So yeah. yeah. So that's that. But that's the point, though. We gotta we gotta stay clean. You know, crying and sign and hope that uh, hope and pray. Thirty three. Sure. Sure. Uh, that we that we clean, or else. That's Ecclesiasticus right. 39 and 28, <laughs> those lions yeah. or those beasts, yeah, yeah, you know, they're going to jump on you yeah. if you're unclean. Yeah. yeah. That's all I got. Yeah. Bring it out. This is uh, uh, Bell, Bell and the Dragon 1 and 33. And there was in the Luri a prophet called Habakkuk, who had made pottage and had broken bread in a bowl and was going into the field for the Bring for, for to bring it to, to the reapers. But the angel of the Lord said unto Habakkuk, Go carry the dinner that thou hast into Babylon unto Daniel, who is in the lion's den. Mm-hmm. Habakkuk mm-hmm. said, Lord, I never saw Babylon, neither do I know where the den is. Mm-hmm. Then the angel of the Lord took him by the crown That's and bare him true. by the hair of That's his head, and through the vehement of the spirit set him. In Babylon oh, over the den. And Habakkuk cried, saying, O oh, Daniel, Daniel, take the dinner which Yahweh has sent, uh, has sent thee. And Daniel said, Thou hast remembered me, O Yahweh, neither hast thou forsaken them that see thee and love thee. So Daniel arose and did eat, and the angel of the Lord sent Habakkuk in his own place again immediately. So I was the spiritual power as well. Oh, yeah. Translated. Yeah. 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 That's amazing, man. Alright, yeah. that. Also took him by his crown. Um, this is a teleportation. I have a scripture. I have a quick precept. Just in regards to what you read. Isaiah 65 and 13. Therefore, thus saith the Lord power, Behold, my servant shall eat, but ye shall be hungry. Behold, my servant shall drink, but ye shall be thirsty. Behold, my servant shall rejoice, but ye shall be ashamed. So that shows you right there. That like even where yeah, yeah. uh, there's all hell breaking loose, the most the world, the the yep. the <laughs> you know, um, that the most high is gonna is, 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 it is gonna is gonna have a way for us to eat right. and to drink in that day, you know. Yeah. And 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 to and that means to uh, to to prepare carnally yeah. is that's not the way to do it. Right? No. That's not the way. We just have to wait. Yeah. To it prepare the spiritually time. is the way. Yeah. Carnally yeah. is yeah. not gonna be the way. Get that scripture. Um, this is the addition of Esther yeah, chapter five. 13, verse 8. It says, Then Maro Ches, uh, Matejek Salakia, thought upon all the works of Yahweh Shemeshiah and made his prayer unto him, saying, O Yahweh, Yahweh, the King Almighty, for the whole world is in thy power. And if thou hast appointed to save Israel, there is no man that can gainsay thee. For thou hast made heaven and earth and all the wondrous things under the heaven. Thou art of all things, and there is no man that can resist thee, which aren't the Lord. Thou knowest all things, and thou knowest, Yahweh, that it was neither in contempt nor pride, nor for any desire of glory, that I did not bow down to proud Ammon. For I could have been content with good will for the salvation of Israel to kiss the sole of his feet. But I did this, that I might not prefer the glory of man above the glory of Yahweh. Neither will I worship any but thee, O Yahweh. Neither will I do it in pride. And now, O Yahweh, power and king, spare thy people, for their eyes are upon us to bring us to naught. Yea, they desire to destroy the inheritance that have been thine from the beginning. Despise not the portion which thou hast delivered out of Egypt for thy own self. Hear my prayer and be merciful unto thine inheritance. Turn our sorrow into joy that we may live, O Yahweh, and praise thy name and destroy not the mouths of them that praise thee, O Yahweh. And that's what these heathens always want. The heathens have been praying to all these pagan gods and not just to destroy us and for the most high not to hear our prayers anymore because they know that the one people that he always hears is always Israel. And they know that if we start doing what he commands us, that means they're done. There's there's no one they can turn to to save to save them or 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 keep them in power. Judas Yeah, yeah, that's yeah. yeah. You have to bring it out. Okay, this is Judas chapter five, verse uh, seventeen. And whilst they sit not before their power, they prospered, because the power 
that hateth iniquity was with them. Read that again. Mm -hmm. This is uh, Judah chapter 5 and 17. And while they sin not. Because our people don't seem to get this, man. Right. This is what you guys, anybody's talking about. We need to come together. We need to do this. Nigga, you ain't gonna do shit, Mr. Right. <laughs> you ain't gonna do shit. You ain't gonna have a good household. Your wife is gonna nag you. Your kids are gonna be beat. You ain't gonna do shit good right in this kingdom. Right? There's gonna be something that fucks up. That's right, that's right. And something is gonna go awry in this kingdom, and you're just gonna have to deal with it. That's, right. that's all. The only thing the scripture is gonna teach you now is how you can deal with it in a better fashion, in a better way. But you're gonna go through the motions, right? right. There's that's no true. avoiding what's gonna happen to you in these bodies. Look right? at Job. That's right, man. Yeah. Oh, he was a perfect man, you know, all praise. Imagine us now. He's man. Yeah. yeah, Job, he didn't have, Job, Job didn't have Kim Trill, you know? he didn't have GMO food. You know, he, he didn't have Instagram and all the bullshit. That's right. Man. And, and his woman still turned on him. Right? <laughs> 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 I didn't even think about it. I'm sorry. Oh, let me go check up on my woman now, bro. <laughs> Probably just had a quickie. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Hey, but that's that's a condition, man. Good, good. And a lot of guys they don't they don't think it affects them. That's right. That's the scripture. <laughs> Joel, it's true, man. Oh, Joel man. five and nineteen. He shall deliver thee in six troubles. Yea, in seven there shall no evil touch thee. I mean, he shall redeem thee from death, and in war from the power of the sword. Thou shalt be hid from the scourge of the tongue. Shalom, shalom, shalom. Neither shall thou be afraid of destruction when they come in. And destruction and famine, that thou shalt laugh. Neither shalt thou be afraid of the beasts of the earth. What power is that? Yeah. What kind of, we, 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 we can't even imagine what that is, right? Like what kind of power is he going to give us to where we're going to be laughing at destruction? Um, what kind of power is that where we're going to see beasts of the field and those beasts are going to be hungry. Like, they're going to be hungry. And, you know, like, them beasts in that day are going to be tizzic. Like, you know, they're not going to be normal. They're going to be tizzic to where they're ready to attack people. Like, they've been stuck in a cage for so long. Now they're free. And they're, 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 they see you. But then they chill. Yeah. And they look at you and just keep moving. That's crazy. Oh, even right now, there's a, there's been, like, a lot of bear sightings. Yeah, bear sightings. You know, like, all throughout the GTA. Wolves. Cut. Some coyotes, Come all on. kinds of stuff out here, man. That's ready. It says, um, at destruction and famine, thou shalt laugh, neither shalt thou be afraid of the beasts of the earth. And the scripture says that there's going to be newly created creatures as yeah. well. That's right. That's right. For thou shalt be in league with the stones of the field, and the beasts of the field shall be at peace with thee. Which goes back to, uh, 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 uh to Adam, to the days of Adam, right? Oh, yeah, yeah. This is uh, 2 Maccabees 8 and 34. As for that most ungracious uh, Nicanor, who had brought a thousand merchants to buy the Jews, he was through the help of the Lord brought down by them, of whom he made least account, and putting off his glorious apparel and discharging his company, who came like a fugitive servant through the mid Midland unto Antioch, having very great dishonor, for that his host was destroyed. And this was a, a Greek general. Yeah. Thus he that took upon him to make good to the Romans their tribute by means of the captives in Jerusalem told abroad that the Jews had the most high to fight for them. And therefore they could not be hurt because they followed the laws that he gave them. There you go. There you go. Conversation done. There you go. That's where our power lies, man. That's our power right there. Because why do you think they go so hard to give us all these philosophies? Con. Because as long as we're not following what has been laid for us, they're good to go. Con. Whatever they want. Con. That's right. Man. That's why it was Black History Month because all the people give the follow all the demons, man. Yeah. Martin Luther King, you know, Bob Marley. None of them come with nothing. Mm -hmm. Michael King. Mm -hmm. None of them come in with nothing, man. Mm -hmm. so, yeah, yeah, no substance. Yeah, no, no substance Marcus, there, you know. Yeah, no substance. Nothing there, man. And vain. Just ear, man. Yeah. And they keep putting in your brain that you're a damn slave. Yeah. 
Oh, they yeah. keep repeating that to you. Movies about yeah. it. You're a slave. You're yeah. a slave. Yeah. You're a slave. Oh, yeah. you're a slave. Yeah. That's the only thing you fucking know. Yeah. Oh, I'm a slave. Yeah. Yeah. No, you're not. That's right. You're, you're not a slave. You're you're Yasha Allah, man. That's right. You're a prince of the power, man. Stop calling yourself a slave, man. Right? You're just being punished. You're not a slave. Right? That's, that's right. why you. That's why the scripture says, "Is Israel a slave? Is he a homeborn servant? No, you're not, man. Right? Stop saying that. You're not a slave. You weren't. You 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 weren't put under the white man because the white man is powerful. You were put under the white man as a punishment. Stop looking. That's and that's what these niggas are confused about, man. Stop looking at the white man like he's some great guy that put us in the captivity. No, we were put there. Up. We were being spanked. Think about it as being beaten. You were being beaten, man. That's all you were there to do. You were there to be beaten, man. You were there to be punished. That's it. Damn slave. You're a free man. Try it. Try it. I got a Baruch chapter 4 and uh, 6. Just to back up what you're saying. Thank you, not for your destruction, but because he moved the Most High to wrath. Simple and plain. You were delivered onto the enemies, for you provoked him that made you by sacrificing. Are you, listen, are you listening to this, Slavs? Are you Slavs listening to this? We were delivered into your hands because of our iniquity, right. not because of your great power. Sacrificing unto devils and not to the Most High, ye have forgotten the everlasting power that brought you up, and ye have grieved Jerusalem that nursed you. And do you know how we forgot the everlasting power from lack of knowledge, man? From lack of knowledge, because the majority of these these uh, Israelites, these uh, uh, Negroes, Latin, Latinos, and Native Americans, they're uneducated. When you talk to our people, they're really uneducated, man. I grew up thinking that ignorant meant hyper. Mm -hmm. That's what I grew up thinking, because my mom used to always tell me, oh, you're too ignorant. <laughs> but she meant it in a way like uh, uh, the word the word she should be using is pugnacious. The word pugnacious is what she meant to use. But because she doesn't have that intelligence, she's using the word incorrectly. Right? And that's how we all grew up. We grew up all using words that are incorrect, man, right? because we were lack of knowledge, man. Right? Right, and we're a lack of knowledge about what about our history, about who we truly are. We grew up calling ourselves black, right. Latino, Native Americans. Who's that? What nation of people is that? Aboriginal. What nation of people is Jamaican? Oh, me's a Jamaican, me's not a, a Saint Lucia, me, me's not Vinci. Yeah. When you're the same <laughs> damn people, yeah. Yeah. It's it's so yeah. Same boat, same, same boat. again, bro. Yeah. Came on the same damn boat. Yeah. <laughs> same but damn boat. We're just conquered by different <laughs> Edomites. Was, was that it? No. Yeah, that was that. I'm finished. Okay. Right. I just want to back you up real quick. Yeah. All right. So this is uh, Ezekiel 39. I'm sorry, at 22. <clears throat> it says, so the house of Israel shall know that I am the Lord Yahweh, your God, in that day. Forward, and the heathen shall know that the house of Israel went into captivity for their iniquity because they trespassed against me. Therefore, I hid my face from them and gave them into the hand of their enemies. So the Lord did that. So fell they and all by the sword, according to their unclean uncleanness and according to their transgressions, have I done unto them. And hid my face from them. Therefore, thus saith the Lord Yahweh. What were our transgressions, brother? Um, I'm not not following the laws, statutes, and commandments. Yeah. Worshiping these idols. Worshiping these idols. That's right. Huh? That's how you become unclean. Because what is that? When you go, when you worship these other idols, what are you committed? You're committing fornication. So you're unclean. Make your woman your equal. That, that's right. right. That's right. So it's like, it's like, that's not that's some 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 fake doctrine. That's not that's some wine. Feminist, right? <laughs> yeah, that's fine. Feminist fermented wine, man. Tell about your woman is your equal. Your equal. That's right. Or sorry. God, my God. Like what's the name? Like, yeah, my better half. My better half. 
Back in verse 25, it says, Therefore, thus the Lord Yahweh, now will I bring again the captivity of Jacob and have mercy upon the whole house of Israel and will be jealous for my holy name. He's going to finish the chapter. After they have borne their shame and all their trespasses, whereby they have trespassed against me. So what are we What are we being right now? We're just being put to shame. Yeah, exactly. We're just being shamed. That's right. And what, what's the shame? That we don't have, have no power. That's right. right. That's it. The most I just wants to show us, listen, <laughs> you have no power without me. That's right. That's I'm right. the guy. Yeah. It's me. I'm the man. Yeah. You're not the man. That's right. <laughs> It's called Prince of the Power. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's the title of me. Yeah. Yeah. Prince of the Power. Prince of the Power, man. And he's here right now with us, right? So, 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 we have no power. That's, That's right. right. <laughs> when they dwelt safely in their land and none yes. made them afraid, when I have brought them again from the people and gathered them out of their enemies' lands and yes. am sanctified in them in the sight of many nations. Then shall they know that I am the Lord, their God, Yahweh. I want to sanctify me to set them apart. So I'm being set apart right now, right? That's what's proving that we're the sons of the Most High God. Because we were set up to be niggas out there with our, with our pants hanging down. If we're doing that, you know, they're okay with that. You know, them niggas. Yeah. When we're doing this, we should fight, but we have a problem with that. Yeah. Right? So we're smoking weed, you know what I'm saying? On the corner sheets. Come on. You know what I mean? We're when good you, when we do that. Yeah, yeah, we're good. Because Jake is born, like your uncle is off, your dad is off, and he's here looking at, at, his, at his brother's girl. Like, I want to beat that thing. Yeah, you're, you're doing it. A bunch of madness. And that's what, yeah. that's what you're born into. Right. So without the scriptures, you know, you'd be off too. Because yeah. bringing it back to, to your commonwealth, to, to your heritage, man. Yeah. That's what we're doing as, as brethren. Crazy on Bashi Shot. Right. Jake, Jake is like a bunch of dogs. That's yeah. cool. A bunch Young of dogs. reservoir dogs. Yeah. And look, look what you don't see among us. What don't you see among us? You don't see our wives. Why are you going to see my wives among a bunch of men? A bunch of men. She might find a couple of you guys attractive. Uh, can I come? <laughs> can I come by? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, don't oh, can I bake you a cake? Can I bake you a cake? Yeah, don't bake nothing. This week said, said dogs. Yeah. Yeah. When she comes up, I'm going, oh, I'm going to give me a dog. Yeah, it's true. Yeah, it's true. It's true. Right. And best sometimes if you live by yourself too, instead of like living with another, like having a roommate too, because right. 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 I mean, right. you're with nobody, one guy. <laughs> <laughs> one guy. <laughs> That's right, man. Yeah. That's right. Pour, pour out my spirit upon the house of Israel, saith the Lord Yahweh. That's it. Yeah. Script. You got something? Zephaniah three and nineteen. Behold, at that time, I will undo all that afflict me, and I will save her that haleth. And gather her that was driven out, and I will get them praise and fame in every land where they have been put to shame. Ooh. And that, that her is, is an Israelite woman. Jeremiah uh, um, six says Israel like a, a beautiful common woman. All right, so so that her is is, is a nation of Israel. Right. One put to the lowest man. <laughs> so right. and that's, that's really dealing with uh, the elect, the elect God. Yeah. not the, all of Israel. Israel, Israel, Israel. Israel trying to pretend yeah. and putting on garments and. Marching on the street, it's right. Mm -hmm. All this madness. <laughs> and, oh, I'm this commanded. Man, man, shut the fuck up. Central, 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 central command. <laughs> <laughs> that's, that's all. Right. Right. Sorry, go through, go through. I got this shield. I'm a seven shield star general. And all this mad. That's not no order. Where, where's that? Where's that? Is that the house of David? F two. <laughs> you know. That was about Swords. six years ago when he came out and said that foolishness. Where has he been since then? That's right. He's uh, high. He retired. At that time, I will bring. At that time, will I bring you again? Even in the time that I gather you, for I will make you a name and a praise among all people of the earth. When I turn back your captivity before your eyes, serve the Lord. That's true. Yeah, yeah. That's something. That's why a lot of people can't. Right like a lot of guys, they watch our video, but they can't actually do what we're doing through the spirit mm -hmm. sit right. down they have in classes go yeah. on the highways that takes faith but this is something that's 
That's, that's like, it's something out of this yeah, world, man. Yeah, but that, but those guys, I think that way, they think it's just a physical thing. Yeah, you know, they think mm-hmm. it's just like something you just come together. You know, you yeah, that's what they think. Oh, it's a yeah. protest, you guys. Yeah, protest every yeah. Saturday. Fucking yeah. Of course, of course, it's a protest. It's a faith thing. We're in the most powerful kingdom that ever existed, and we're telling the kingdom. You're gonna go down, and we're gonna rule, right. and you're gonna be our future slaves. That's that's complete madness. Yeah, that's, 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 that's madness. That's just like what Daniel did to, uh, when he was in the. See, most I said this is foolishness. What we're doing, we look like fools. Man. Yeah, that's what they see. Like, this is the Bible. <laughs> you mean you're gonna put me in a slave? Yeah. 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 It's crazy. <laughs> and then they did the foolish things. Out of the confound of wise. That's right. I think we're, we're the foolish thing. That's right. <laughs> and we're not no like uh, like so called good people from the world, you know, like sure. all of us come from different walks mm-hmm. of life. God. Well, look at us, man. <laughs> yeah. Like like if, 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 if we were in this truth and we see how I just picture yourself, you walk past up some guy like this like say fifteen years ago. Like what? <laughs> 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 you guys are right. Like, history like we talk about ufos man right? and really the only people who are truly on that level are the elites that's right yeah. and there's a we video that. there's a video <clears throat> of to Hart put up with daniel 10 or um revelations 10 yeah there's a jake filming uh chairs there's two chairs jake's yeah, 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 yeah. it's alien yo yeah it's yeah, yeah. alien <laughs> he said yo they're splitting up there's more there's eight yeah yeah yeah, yeah. 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 they're coming down yeah they're coming down yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. But, yeah. but Tahar was talking about it though. Remember he's talking about how I got to watch that. I got to watch that. I saw that video. Yeah, he was posed in the group. He said that shoot it. Yeah, he said shoot it. Yeah, he was a nigga. Yeah, you know he's a calling talk pro motherfucker. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Good talk. Yeah, but you know, watching that, it just makes you appreciate the word more. Exactly. Yeah, we understand. We would be so Jake, Jake doesn't know what's happening. Jake doesn't know what's happening. Both dope, man. That's right. Yeah, to my most old one, but this is Romans 11 and 1. And I dropped down to the point that I want to get. Um, I, Romans 11 and 1. I say then, as they have cast away his people, they have a forbid. For I am also an Israelite of the seed of Abraham. Yeah, because he never chose anybody else. Even though he turned his back on us, he never turned his back on us, never to deal with us again. That's and that's right. why that story of Yahawashai has been around from the beginning of time. That's right. There was always a story of the Savior. Right. Before the Bible was written, it was oral. And there was always going to be a savior to come and save Israel from out of the destruction, yeah, from out of their, their low state. It's it's always been prophecy. It's always. Yeah. I come back here for that. No, no, go ahead. Oh, wow. of the tribe of Benjamin. Uh, let me drop down to the point. Um, it says here, um, verse 4, But what saith the answer of Yahweh unto him? I have res- reserved to myself 7,000 men. Who have not bowed the knee to the image of Baal. That's right, right, man. That's elect. That's right. That's Even so. Because what does seven represent? Provision. That's right. right. Even so, that is a great that is present time. Also, there is a remnant according to his election of grace. <laughs> there you go, the remnant of God. And the way how you know that uh, seven represents uh, completion, you can take a look at the cycle of the moon, right? So it's like four cycles, and then it comes through. First phase, that's a completion. That's a completion phase. Seven days. Seven days. Seven days. And then it comes to the month of the seven days. So four days. pieces of the pie. And it makes a completion. Mm-hmm. That's, a, that's a whole. That's, a, that's, a, that's four quarters. So mm-hmm. God is a whole. That's right. It makes a pie. God, you know? That's right. Uh, Pi goes back into um, Greek, like they're, they're Greek and stuff. So, oh, yeah, yeah, the yeah. Pi square. Yeah. <laughs> they, they Pythagorean theory. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. The the pi theory. Math and three point one four, and it <laughs> continues on forever. <laughs> 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 I got. Uh, this one. I was gonna bring up this scripture earlier. Uh, what brothers are getting into? 
it says uh second chronicles chapter 2 verse 29 i mean chapter yeah, no second yes first i mean chapter 29 verse 6 it says for our fathers have trespassed and done that which was evil in their eyes of the Lord, our power. Yep, worship, wow. worshiping idols, <laughs> committed uh, uh, fornication, yes. eating abomination, mm -hmm. right? Committed homosexuality, because homosexuality is big among Jake. Mm -hmm. he, you go downtown right now, you know who's down there? Yeah. Yeah. Holy Jake. Jake. Most yeah. Jake. Most yeah. Jake. Yeah, I've seen, yeah. I've seen a lot of Jake going downtown. It's like, yeah, yeah, no, like, I guess um, it was like, mostly the black ones. Yeah, no, yeah. it's, um, what do you call it? Bacchanal soon, a couple yeah. more weeks. Yeah. That's right. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, which is the same thing. That's just the same thing. It's the same thing. Yeah, it's the street. Another gay pride. Orgy fest. It says, and have forsaken him have turned away faces from the habitation of the Lord. Because yeah, the origins, just to back up what the brother saying, the origins of back and now, when you had the origins, yeah. it didn't differentiate between a man and a woman. Kind of so it means that you were sleeping with men and women, kind of right? You, it was about uh, drunkenness. So when you're drunk, who, who the fuck is who? Taking, right? You know who's who? Yeah. No, no, yeah. you're supposed to... The, and the, how drunk you're supposed to be? You're supposed to be piss drunk. Mm -hmm. And like first rioting, of all, like rioting. Yeah. Like yeah. rioting. Yeah. Actually, it's mud drunk. And it's actually That's against the law. law. It's actually against the law to get yeah. to get well, drunk. Like, to yeah, drink yeah, outside. Yeah, right. yeah, right. yeah. It's a, you have a lapse in judgment. Yeah. 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 Jube, Jube, Jube. And turn yeah. their backs. That's why those times are um, it's the easiest time to you know, um, like you want to get a woman or a whore or whatever. It's the easiest time. So in the year, hit over the head with the uh, <laughs> she's drunk and does whatever. Well, no. yeah. It says, uh, and turn their backs. Verse 7 says, Also, they have shut up the doors of the porch and put out the lamps and have not burnt incense nor offered burnt offerings in the holy place unto the power of Israel, Yahweh. Therefore, the wrath of the Lord. Yahweh was upon Judah and Jerusalem, and he has delivered them to trouble, to astonishment, and to hissing. And all you got to do is with is your read, eyes. All you got to do is read Judges. Read right. Judges, and you'll see the progression until today, mm -hmm. right? Judges leads you, and then you, you see us here today in America, then you understand, man. Right? The most I kept delivering us. The captivity kept was getting longer and longer and longer. Delivered us. Captivity got longer. Delivered us. Captivity got longer. <laughs> mm -hmm. yeah. Now we're here. This is the longest captivity. It says, verse 9, For lo, our fathers have fallen by the sword, and our sons and our daughters and our wives are in captivity for this. Now it is my heart to make a covenant with the Lord, our power, Yahweh, of Israel that his fierce wrath may turn away from us. My sons, be not now negligent, for the Lord has chosen you to stand before him, to serve him, and that he should minister unto him and burn incense. That's the point. But, you know, not really the point, but you know, that was uh, I go and bring out something else. I got something. This is uh, second uh, Lamentations. Uh, how had the Lord covered the daughter of Zion with a cloud in his anger and cast down from heaven unto the earth the beauty of Israel? Remembered not his footstool in the day of his anger, which is avoided into slavery. The Lord had swallowed up all the inhabitants, inhabitations of Jacob and had not pitied. He had thrown down in his wrath the strongholds of the daughter of Judah. He had brought them down to the ground. <laughs> and and what's the Lord's footstool? It's the earth, man. That's right. So since since the Most High is not dealing with earth, the Most High is not dealing with the earth right now. That's why the earth is all messed up, man. The, 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 the plants are shit. The fruits we're eating are shit. The water is shit. The air is shit. It's all shit, man. Because the Most High is not dealing with no one else. These, these, these nations think that they're ruling what? They, they've been blessed? No, you have not been blessed, man. We've actually been cursed. The whole earth is cursed because we're cursed. Right. The hell? 
Earth is not blessed right now. It's blessed to the Polish man. Um, the Lord had swallowed up all the inhabitations of Jacob and had not been. He had thrown down all. Um, he had thrown down in his wrath the strongholds of the daughter of Judah. He had brought them down to the ground. He had polluted the kingdom and the princes thereof. He had cut off in his fierce anger all the horn of Israel. He had back his right hand from before the enemy. So he's the one who was taking out our enemy. It wasn't sure. right. you know, it wasn't us. It was well, the it was power was always high. Yeah. Yeah. Right. Sure. Sure. And he had burned when he that's why when you read them scriptures, uh, I forgot, uh, man, that scripture where um, and where he said, whoever drinketh the water, and then he was just, uh, he was saying, the, the, power, the power of the most high doesn't rest with many, but with a few. That was a good one, man. Yeah, it's like, the, the most high, I'm with you. Because there's too many men. You yeah. Want, you want to cut down. To cut it down. Yeah. yeah. It's just like, what the hell? I don't need this much guys. <laughs> 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 yeah. yeah. It was yeah. like a ton of Yeah, 300. Yeah. Um, and, and he burned against Jacob like a flaming fire, which devoured round about. He had bent his bow like an enemy. He stood with his right hand as an adversary and slew all that were ple that were pleasant to the eye in the tabernacle of the daughter of Zion. And that alone should show the world and all these other nations the power of the Lord. But that's how you know the other nations are wicked. Because the Most High has actually shown his power by the way he's punishing us. But nobody's taking that into account <laughs> as to how powerful he is. As to what he's doing to his own people, because yeah, right. never on planet Earth has a nation been been treated the way we we're being treated right that's now. Right, that's right. <laughs> Mutilated, used for fucking organs, and you know, um, put in foods and Damn, all this they, madness. They, and everybody, most of these guys are our clones out there. It's like man. Esau wants our aura, our essence. Yeah. <laughs> oh, Everything. Nice. Well, he's so I'm through with the record, so he's trying to take our organs and basically, yeah, I'm an Israelite. Yeah, yeah. I'm a Lockhart. You know, I'm a Lockhart. Hold on, let the brother finish. And that were pleasant to the eye in the tabernacle of the daughter of Zion. He poured out his fury like fire. The Lord was an enemy. He has swallowed up Israel. He has swallowed up all her her palaces he had destroyed his strongholds and had increased in the daughter of Judah mourning and lamentation and he had violently taken away his tabernacle and that's why we're not able to build right you want to know why we can't build because outside taking all of that away from us man. he's taking himself away and that's our foundation right. are you gonna build without your foundation it's impossible don't even try it. <laughs> the reason why I said that right there, I'm going to read that part up again. It says, and had increased in the daughter of Judah, mourning and lamentation. So that's, oh man, just work. Better to give up the ghost, man. If you want to listen to some uh, uh, some blues from back in the day, yeah, man, those some of them guys look sounded like they wanted to cry on the on the track, man. Yeah. <laughs> they were going through some hell, man. Serious yeah, hell. They were catching some hell, man. Yeah, that's why they, you felt the pain. That's, that's why we were so much wearing yeah. during slavery, man. Yeah, kind of. You know, yeah. so a lot of um, the little slavery songs that you know that were passed down, but it was like you know you had to learn that on a plantation. Kind of. That's why Judas still does the, the most of the singing now. And that's why this music now doesn't resonate with us. Yeah. Yeah. Because we're, noise. we're singing about things it's that we're not living that way. Yeah. You're telling me about bling bling uh, and all this and all. Mm -hmm. What are you talking about? Really, right. That's not our life. Yeah, that's right. Which yeah, it's, it's weird. Mm -hmm. right? The music back in the day resonated <laughs> with you more yeah. because they were saying real. Yeah, exactly. What was real, you know? That's what the song was about. It's yeah. about being sacred. It was about um, hard times, Cut. especially like the reggae back then. Yeah. Mm -hmm. 
Yeah, yeah that, that's true. Before the dancehall came, yeah, the reggae, or the golden golden age of the, the dancehall roots and culture. Yeah. Roots and culture. Where they actually used Israelites, Country, where they yeah. actually said that's Israelites. Right, yeah, yeah, yeah. They yeah, said Israelites. Israelite. Yeah, we're Israelites. Yeah. 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 And talk yeah. about the curses of the diseases too. Yeah, come. What was that other song about? <laughs> about uh, Lucifer, Son of the Morning? I'm going to chase you out of here. Yeah, I'm going to chase you out of here. Yeah, that's Benjamin. Son. Yeah, come on. I'm going to put on an iron shirt or something like that. He said that, man. That's why they uh, like created confusion in the, in the Rastafarian shit. Yeah. Because before, so Jake wasn't was worshipping no Selassie. Mm -hmm. Or there. women. Yeah, yeah. And now they and worship Bruce. both. The Vesta Capaisis. Finish up on that. Okay. Uh, verse 6. And had violently taken away his tabernacle as if it were of a garden. He had destroyed his places of the assembly. The Lord hath caused the solemn feasts and Sabbaths to be forgotten in Zion and despised in the, in the indignation of his anger, the king and the priests. The Lord had cast off his altar. He had abhorred his sanctuary. He had given up into the hand of the enemy the walls of the palaces. They have made a noise in the house of the Lord, as in the day of seven feasts. And I said from there. That's right. Mm -hmm. And with that, we're going to close out. I'm going to give all praises again to Yahweh. Again, double honors to the Apostle Great Milton, who said, but the life of which is true. And also the hopeful elect of the house of David, Kwame Ashrala. Kwame Ashrala. And Mawata Baba. Mawata Baba. Um, Safe? What is it? Yeah, um, for the